you were to reset the NBA to 1976 and re-simulate the league all the way until 2021, these are all the players that you would watch be drafted and watch their careers unfold. Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Hakeem Olajuwon, Tim Duncan, Kevin Garnett, David Robinson, Charles Barkley, Isaiah Thomas, Dirk Nowitzki, Kevin Durant, Stephen Curry, Derrick Rose, Len Bias, Clyde Drexler, Scottie Pippen, John Stockton, Carl Malone, Dennis Rodman, Patrick Ewing, Paul Pierce, Russell Westbrook, Steve Nash, Jason Kidd, Dwayne Wade, Allen Iverson. Yeah, we've got a lot to see here. All right, 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 all right. This is finally it. Chapter five of the series, which in case you don't get the drill by now, if you have not seen chapters one through four, click the link to the playlist in the description or click the thing that'll pop up on the top right of the screen right about now to go and watch the other chapters so that you don't miss the entire series. But if you are real and you've been here this entire time, you've watched this entire thing from 1976 to 2021, you've seen Michael Jordan get drafted and retire, Kobe Bryant get drafted, LeBron James, Bernard King dominance, Chris Cross, Ricky Davis, Dwayne Wade, Shaq, Clyde Drexler, Larry Bird. I'm going to stop there. I'm just naming off the top of my head. This has been an insane series. And today is the day we concluded. The last video ended off on me just simply closing out my recording. This one is me starting up and finishing this out all in one sitting. So this is it. Enjoy. All right, dog. Let me, let me click simulate on the season before I even start up this day of recording. Yes, I am wearing the same hoodie. Uh, it get hell that yet. I feel like the last recording is pretty good. So I mean, uh, good luck, whatever. You know, if I'm looking musty, I just got the shower. Hopefully not. Regardless, um, yo, ironically today I'm starting at 10 6 PM. And, uh, this should be the last series of this or last, last recording I do with this video. I already know good and well, there's going to be a series. So let me stop saying that. Oh, George, one time all-star and starter already. I don't know where team you're on, but cut me some slack. I'm just coming back. Joe Keem, Noah, one time all-star. This is actually around the time that he, he was an all-star in real life too. See Kobe on the Mavericks off the bench. Russell Westbrook, one time all-star. Steph Curry, one time all-star. Let me get myself acclimated real quick. So yes, I believe this is only Kobe's first year with you, uh, Dallas. Plus like Utah. He, he was on Utah to be fair though. Westbrook doing well as a 97 overall already over there in Orlando. Nobody really takes shots from him, honestly. Joe Keem, Noah, 90 overall in Utah, actually next to Steve Nash. I'm right. Paul George is with Miami. He's averaging 30. Lowry's also averaging 21 and 11. Okay, cool. Yeah, I, I, I expected that this year was the draft of uh, 2014. So 2013-14, um, man. I'm trying to remember this year. My Knicks weren't great. Speaking of that, I actually just bought some Knicks tickets today. So uh, by the time this video is up, obviously I would have been when. But uh, for Wednesday, the 21st or whatever, my first time, last time I was in the garden was the day before David Fisdale was fired. I think they lost the Nuggets by like 50. LeBron James, most viable player. How many times is that? Can we get a little checkup? Uh, that's four times. It's been some years though. It's Chris Paul went crazy. I wonder if Chris Paul's team, right? He did leave his team. So hopefully they're finally good. Marcus Morris, rookie of the year. That is crazy. Maybe Giannis. I'm going to assume Giannis and them had years pro. That's cool. That's fine. That's fine by me. It's all good. We can have a rookie of the year mix up. Uh, Eric Bledsoe, six man of the year in Dallas. Why is he six man? I mean, you only got KD. You have KD and Kobe. Why? Oh, actually he's an 84. I don't know. Joe Keem, DPOY. Okay. So yeah, I'm pretty sure this is in line with his really good year in real life too. So that works. Brandon Knight, MIP and uh, Corey Elliott, Brandon Knight. Oh, actually he was actually in the running for that. Like around these years too. He had one really good year. We, when the year that he got traded to Phoenix, he was playing really well in uh, Milwaukee right before he got traded. Although I remember he missed a wide open layup on the fast break to send the game to overtime against Brooklyn. Yeah. Gilbert Arenas, Derek Rose, LeBron James, Andre Bargnani and Pau Gasol, all NBA first team. Would you expect this? Maybe. Uh, definitely not in real life though. Second team, Westbrook, Curry, Durant, George, and Noah. Chris Paul, Manu, Carmelo, Dirk, and Ken Johnson, third team. I, I bet LeBron's missing that man. I'm mean, not say too much though before I get reacclimated. All right, look at the all rookie teams. Yeah, you already know good and well Giannis was a no. I mean, maybe. I don't know. 58 and 24 for Miami. Well, they have DeAndre over here too. You know that man has Lob City finisher, but uh, okay. So after his four year stint in Denver, he finds his way over here. They got Kwame off the bench and Juan Carlos Navarro. But Paul George and Lowry lead their team to the second best record in the league. Tied with the Lakers, actually. Lakers, we already know good and well. That's Chris, um, uh, Vince Carter and Chris Bosh. Could have just said Chris Bosh and Vince Carter, but of course I was reading their names the other way around. And uh, Sebastian Telfair. The Timberwolves led by, whoa. Is Ken Johnson the real MVP? Because Brandon Jennings, okay. Quentin Richardson, okay. Gordon Hayward, yes, you are pretty good. Joe Johnson, Ken Johnson, Martell Webster, ooh, Marcus Thornton, the God. Him and Isaiah Thomas, I remember vividly, they used to cook everybody when they was on the Kings. And uh, Pelicans, Wall and Kawhi, and Dwight, and Al Jefferson at power forward. It's a very odd thing to have, but okay. I guess you, you can't really stop those two in the paint. I, I maybe just foul them, at least Dwight. The Suns led by Ronnie Brewer. I think Kevin 
Love who won MIP. Sorry, as I'm fumbling my headphones here. Dallas, Kobe Bryant, Kevin Durant, Eric Bledsoe. Who? What the hell? You're starting now. Oh, you're behind Jay Williams, but you're starting now, and you you won six man of the year. You got you got benched for about 62 games. So okay, I'll let him have it. And of course, it's good to finally see Kobe back in the playoffs. Thankfully, with teammates, because he really hasn't had any except for Tim Duncan. Literally his entire career, it's like the same thing as with Shaq, except it took a lot longer for him to get a Pau Gasol. But KD is better than Pau Gasol, to be fair. Bron and Conley with Chandler and Channing Fry, a man who he ran into a couple times in his career. Bron, that is like you know on his team. What the hell? Oh, Utah is still Utah is back to being good with Joakim Noah and Steve Nash, and the Clippers rounded out. We know why the hell. Oh wh wait, whoa, where is uh? Did he leave? Wait, did he leave? And I forgot. I might have just forgot. I'm drawing a blank on bro name, but you know what I'm talking about the dude, uh, Ricky Davis. What they traded Ricky Davis to the Hornets? Hopefully this isn't a repeat. And I already did this last night, and I was already I already seen this, but I can't even see what they. That was a minute ago. They traded him last year. He's an 81, but still, dog. What? Oh man, the legacy, man. The legacy is over. They traded him for Emmanuel Cortez. I just went and found which player came from Charlotte, and there it is. That that guy. In the ESO, the other 50 win teams as uh, the Pistons, Brandon Roy, of course, and the New Jersey Nets with uh, Manu and Tim Duncan still trying. And Steph Curry and D Rose did just fine this year, although I might have sabotaged them last year. And what the hell, DeRozan? Can you not play small forward? Oh, well, you're just off the bench. It's cool. Kemba Walker is the highest overall in this Cavs team, but he averaged 30 points. Speaking of that, points leaders LeBron, Arenas, Durant, Walker, and Bargnani. I don't think the Spurs made the playoffs unless I'm just mess missing them. Uh, Noah, Gasol, Chandler, Johnson, and Jefferson in rebounds. Assist was Prigioni, Rondo, Harris, Curry, Lowry. Right, let's do it, dog. Let's simulate. Let's see. New Jersey's out of here. Philadelphia's out of here. Utah is out of here. Sorry, Steve Nash. Pistons are out of here. Sorry, Brandon Roy. I can't remember who won it last year, but I know obviously he won a ring. The Hornets deuces, which is where Ricky Davis is, to be fair, but they were the eight seed. Portland is out of here. The Mavericks are out of here, and the Clippers are out. Oh, man. They were the lower seed, but Kevin Durant, Kobe Bryant, Jay Williams, and Eric Bledsoe lose. Kevin Love, Andre McMillan, and Ronnie Brewer. That is crazy. The Pelicans win game seven, led by Kawhi Leonard's 40 to LeBron's 33. Oh, man. It, this was the year that Kawhi actually beat LeBron in the finals, so a history repeats itself, except in the first round. Lakers, Sebastian Telfair, 27 and 22. Move to the next round. There actually, oh, there was a couple upsets over here. The Nets, man. Tim Duncan and Manu lose again to Gilbert Arenas and Richard Jefferson. And I don't know if they've lost to them before, but I'm just saying they've lost again. And Brandon Roy gets upset by Russell Westbrook and Pau Gasol and Blake. Orlando's looking pretty good. And the 76ers yet again lose. Steph Curry only shot four times. Rosen at 30, though, at least. But they lose by just a, a little under 20 points. The Cleveland Cavaliers. Kemba Walker is going crazy. Whoever the hell all these other people. I, I literally, there's like nobody. Else. It's literally just Kemba Walker and Carlos Boozer. Like I went through just everybody. And nobody else even averages over like 14. Kemba's going crazy. Let's see next round. Milwaukee's out of here. Sorry, Gilbert. Cleveland's out of here. Yeah, Kemba, your reign had to end eventually. New Orleans is out of here. And Phoenix is out of here. So the Pelicans, Kawhi and them lose to Vincent, Chris Bosh, the more seasoned vets. The Timberwolves, the one seed still stay staying alive. This is the one seed that probably had a pretty solid chance of losing. And in fairness, they have went to two game sevens already. We'll see what the hell the Lakers got in store for them. But uh, Q Rich and uh, Gordon Hayward. I remember around this time in real life, uh, Q Rich was already, I mean, I mean, obviously, yeah, most players when they're like 33 and they were kind of just cool throughout their careers end up a role player when they're 33. And I mean, I remember he had signed with my Knicks in the uh, 2013 season. It's just like end of the bench guy. So uh, Orlando, Russell Westbrook makes it to the conference finals. Now, ever since KD's left the well, Westbrook, he has not made it very far. Let's just keep it at that. I don't think he ever made it past the first round until last year, right? I think last year the Rockets made it past the first round. Maybe not. I can't remember. And they have Iverson. Wow, I didn't even realize that. Iverson's starting at the two. He's still averaging actually 11 on 46% in this playoff run. 39 years old. He was in the Kobe draft, but Iverson had a crazy like, well, obviously Kobe was like 17 and Iverson was like 21 or 22 or something because he also like went to jail before the NBA. Made the man's road tough to get there. And Johnson, Gordon Hayward versus Vince Carter and Chris Bosh and Telfair who just dropped like 22 and 22 or whatever. Uh, Yeah, 2-2. Two, two, both conferences okay oh miami wins so paul george and lowry two guys who actually lowry now has won his rings and people kind of love him now but he was getting killed for a long time on his playoff play and now paul george is getting killed on his playoff play on uh, social media and all that and we're about to see if minnesota can close it out they do i did not think they were going to pull it off two of the top 10 uh picks from 2010 or at least i would assume they were both top 10 paul george and gordon hayward joe johnson ken johnson deandre kyle lowry brandon jennings who's i guess the kind of weak link he's a 78 let's see paul george looking to get his first ring obviously in real life he doesn't have a ring yet but they're always going to be no matter what people say about his playoff they're always going to be in the running because you know they're the clippers they got him Kawhi, and some other guy lowry 27 george 27 but they lose to the 34 from hayward hayward's going kind of crazy i mean he's actually just consistent and good at basketball speaking of that can i get a uh i mean you probably know but i, I kind of left for 24 hours so uh, okay right the kings one is the eight seed again
and that's what just happened i forgot all about that second game Timberwolves are going to pick up another one by nine points q rich 25 george 28 lowry 26 but uh timberwolves win. they pick up another game the timberwolves not mistaken they had some good years but it was a it was some time ago 34 from hayward 28 from webster obviously in the Tim timberwolves in real life i do not think have a championship ring or anything close to that so we're gonna see uh wow they're gonna do it the minnesota timberwolves are just one four oh gordon hayward 28 brandon jennings 21 a man who kind of fell off like early in his career but instead in this in this universe he actually he had a good first year unless this is a glitch it probably is a glitch but yeah he's kind of actually just been kind of trash in this but he's still a, as a starting point guard he was able to beat a team led by ironically paul so i guess paul george and kyle lowry are not doing bad to uh, fill the fans critiques of them because nine for 23 not awful but not great or for nine definitely kind of all for a final stage though when you're the best player you know what i mean but you're but you're young though you got some time i like to see this out of you paul making it to the finals ken johnson finals mvp that man i guess kind of has more rings than braun now right or no actually was he not there the first or what was he three championship it says three then again it started glitching so we're not even gonna worry about it braun has three or four or whatever yeah oh my god yeah i'm tripping i'm tripping yeah the timberwolves this is their first championship since the larry bird era 2036 in this simulation i can't tell you what exactly year that was off the top of my head but you could figure it out it has been 20 years it does not feel like oh my god why have i been simulating for so long oh god i'm getting that feeling again from yesterday where i was like oh what is going on remember when they went to uh six straight championships at least they won the last one and they never went back i don't think but until now when uh ken johnson fulfills it for them oh, we might as we could even consider ken johnson the dwight howard of this league because dwight howard hasn't been doing anything too crazy i was trying to think of a comparison for him since you know i mean he's kind of just a random dog sean mary retires grant hill retires he will be a hall he will 100 be in a hall of famer ogowski is one time champion he retires alan iverson we know good and well he has to be a hall of famer and wow all defensive team multiple times i know he's a hustler but i was just, i think i made a comment about his defense early but it's because he's six foot maybe even shorter but in the game he's six foot grant hill and iverson hall of fame i'm pretty sure hill made it in real life too just like in one of the recent years i mean then he's only been retired for like seven years or something so this year we have Embiid, Jokic, Levine, Randall, ah, my dog, Dario Saric, looking cool, looking like you in Red Dead Redemption or something, Alfred Payton, I really just said Alfred Payton, I, I wasn't even joking, I really genuinely said that and I'm really disappointed now, I miss Andrew Wiggins, like, oh no, he's up there, and so Jabari has to be up here somewhere, yeah, there you go, Still a good, I mean, Embiid and Jokic, let's see who wins this, uh, or anybody stupid and trade their pick, see my Knicks up there, but they're not, okay, they're number nine, that's not bad, nobody traded their pick, so that's a good sign, wow, the Spurs of Bargnani were the worst team in the league, Nuggets, I don't remember who you have, Raptors, I don't remember who you have. Actually, wait, Mello? Mello's team that bad? Am I bugging? Was, wait, what? Sp I gotta look at the Spurs real quick just to make sure, like, they didn't lose anybody, because what the hell? Spurs 22 and 60. Wow, yeah, still with Pierce, still with Bargnani. I mean, this team just won a ring not too long ago, but two years ago? Yeah, two years ago. You still got your star players. I don't know what happened. Over here, Toronto with almost the same exact team. What? Mello, JR, D. Will, Marcus All. They must have lost, hell, some bench depth or something. They got Jimmer for debt in here now. And MCW. Uh, let's see what the hell happens here nba draft spurs get joel and beat so they're gonna bring joel and beat onto that team that's already good that i just showed you they're gonna start him at center now instead of cody zeller and uh, him next to andre bargnani is like the best fit ever bargnani is like dirk in this league and then you put joel and beat next to Dirk. basically this is and gonna be alonzo morning hall of fame demarcus cousins all nba for yoke and she goes to the hawks which if they didn't find a franchise player by now that's definitely one i know they were struggling with that ever since michael hell they got lamarcus but that was it this whole all all these years they only got lamarcus really they got kevin seraphin is that good for you no good and well this 26 points is a glitch i don't like it we're so deep into this that like i'm gonna cut two here some slack but i don't like how it's glitching like that too much though randall went to the rockets um they, they said a uh, horrible pick by houston but also a uh, cliff robinson starter and thomas robinson wow i remember thomas robinson fun fact randall and jabari park are actually my two favorite players in this draft like i i did like julius randall i, I really like i was really happy when he got signed to the Knicks. i got tagged i get tagged in all the time stuff like oh yo you bullied julius randall to become an all-star which i think is funny this man has a mean cut on his finger the dude signed the contract right there he's got a mean cut see that I'm tripping but you gotta realize well but then again there's i don't think anybody really does this because randall's better than most improved players so i think it's pretty obvious that he improved as uh okay bosh is unrestricted nash is unrestricted ray allen so i guess they kind of signed some short-term deal but randall wrote a whole players tribune article on how much better he got steve nash goes to the hawks okay so you know he, jo he joins uh players he's gonna join aldridge and now uh Jokic. Jokic and nash is crazy crazy actually i don't know how it really works but it works it'll work somehow i guess ray allen's gonna stay with the rockets actually all these guys are kind of gonna just gonna bounce around because they're old they're pretty effective still i don't know if ray allen's really effective though to be honest i mean he was he was pretty good but like what the hell why do you guys never but they got to the playoffs so i can't take that from him bogut somehow got out of his oh well he got out of his warriors contract over the bulls that's all you gotta know joe johnson left the reigning champions to go to the bucks and
and so on and so forth. Hi, Tyreek Evans and Ricky Rubio. This is 2015, 16? No, 2014, 15. What am I talking about? Obviously, Cat, Porzingis, Russell. It's crazy. This draft had so many good players, but aside from like, it was Bam in this draft, maybe. Maybe he was even the year after, but like Booker too, actually, which still follows this until this season. Actually, Booker's doing really well, but no players that have won anything. I guess D Lo went to the playoffs that one year, but like so much good talent, yet none of them have pieced it. Like none of their teams have pieced it together. Yet. I feel like there's not one guy. Now the Suns are though, because you get Chris Paul and you instantly become God mode. D Rose and LeBron are the All Star captain. Look at Derek. Why Leonard, one time All Star, is the oh him and Zach Randolph were the only ones here. Uh, good for Zach. Kind of weird that he makes it this late, but good for him regardless. AD's a starter. Boogie's a starter. D Rose obviously only a four time. I think he, maybe he's only a four time in real life too. Brandon Roy number one in the MVP race right now. Derek Rose not too shabby either. He's completely overshining. You would think Steph Curry would still become Steph Curry, but it looks like Rose is like, you know what I mean? Took the leap over him. And speaking of that, 99 overalls in this league, uh, it's Tony Parker, Rose, LeBron, CP, Westbrook, and Wade. Not too inaccurate compared to real life until you get to a Bargnani. Tony was obviously a little bit older and probably like at 89 at this point, maybe 90. But it's not that bad though. But this is kind of a whole different league. So what do you expect? It, yes, the whole point you hear. What do you want me to simulate real life again? LeBron James, most valuable player for, I think the fifth time now with 36, five and six a game. Jokic, rookie of the year with Atlanta. Embiid average just nine and nine, but I guess you are next to Bargnani. I'll cut you some slack. How did Jabari play so much? Jabari and Melo next to each other is kind of weird because they were kind of compared a lot when he was coming to college. So I don't know how the hell them being the exact same player is going to work. And uh, Zach Levine and Nurkic did well for the Nuggets. Nurkic actually, I think, was drafted to the Nuggets. So yeah, good for him. Mar DeRozan, six man of the year. That makes perfect sense. Joakim DPOY, answer most improved player. And Vince Cage, coach of the year. First team arenas who's still just been around here for all these years. 10 time all star, four time first team. Like, come on now. He's like, he's been one of the best consistent players, but he hasn't actually. Did he win a ring? I Oh, wait, did the glitch go away? Remember when I was like looking at him? He's like, what the hell? It says he has a ring. But yeah, no, he didn't. Westbrook, LeBron, KD, and Joe Keem, all NBA first team. Second team, Rose, Roy, Nowitzki, Gay, and Cousins. Rudy, wow, Rudy's up here. Rudy, 33 and 5 a game with Utah. Oh, because Nash left Utah. So now Rudy just has the entire offensive low. And uh, let's see, Cuz uh, Curry, Wade, George, Bargnani, and Gasol on the third team. Defensive first team, high Ronnie Brewer. So I guess he's just a defensive mastermind and get some points too. And uh, yeah, there goes the rest. League leaders in points was LeBron, Gilbert, Rudy, Roy, and Westbrook. Rebounds, Noah, Chandler, Gasol, Johnson, and Jordan. Assists was Harris. Wow, Devin Harris. I haven't seen you around. Oh, Russell Westbrook, Prigioni, Rose, and Wall. Look at Larry Sanders, 67% from the field. Mike Dunley, we read in a three-point percentage. Shout out to Paul George. I've seen you up there too. Lakers won 60 games. We're going to see. Has Vince Carter still not won a ring despite his uh, incredible teams thus far? Like, I mean, they've, they've always been at the top of the top, basically. Lakers have figured it out, pieced it together, whatever. Vince obviously is now in his, wow, 16th year. I don't think he's ever left this team. It still feels like he's just getting the league, but I'm obviously still tripping. They got Hassan starting at center. Nate Robinson. He wasn't, remember when he was supposed to be Westbrook? Mavericks, Kobe, KD, second seed. Come on, Kobe. I need one from you. LeBron, Portland, third seed, and that's the only 50 wins teams over here. Pistons led by Roy is a 50 win team. Or 60, actually. Miami yet again, 59 wins. Derrick Rose and Curry able to get 53 wins. I gotta see what Curry's doing right now. All-star two times, of course. I mean, maybe not of course, but 20. Okay, so it's still 29-11. He's doing just fine. And Rose somehow coexisting. The Cavs yet again. This is just like in any other simulation when the Cavs randomly figure it out and become really good, even though it doesn't make sense. 25 from Kemba. Like, look, look at this. I'm just going to scroll through the rest of these guys' stats. There's going to be nobody else that even really pops out of you. Just like some good players, but you know, good for you to average 19 as an 81 overall. But aside from that, like, yeah, no, like, okay. They definitely pieced together a good team, though. New Jersey's still trying to hold on to something. They're another 50 win team. And the Raptors, look at the Raptors. They just like faked for one year to get Jabari Barker, I would assume. The team is like the exactly, exactly the same, except for him. Every team team that Nash goes to becomes good. Jokic, Aldridge, and Nash is in the playoffs even. And they only had 34 wins. What the hell? Indiana, 18 wins led by Kevin Garnett and old KG. Still doing well for himself. And uh, Al Jefferson led that other, left that other team. Wow. Wait, maybe he got traded. He did. What was an Al Jefferson trade? That means an 88 overall. Joe Johnson got traded for Wally Walker to the Clippers. Ooh, maybe he's the next uh, Ricky Davis. Al Jefferson got traded straight up for Kendrick Perkins. That is so disrespectful. This man Kendrick's at 89 though. Joe Harris for Kyle Korver is the most typical trade ever. Although it literally like what, what the hell do you gain? All right, let's simulate these. Atlanta is out of here. Philadelphia is out of here. New Jersey is out of here. Wow, Tim, come on. San Antonio is out of here. Okay. So yeah, they came back. They, yeah, like I said, I don't know how they were bad, but they were the eight seed though. So they lost to Portland's out of here. LeBron loses. Wow. Houston's out of here. Toronto deuces. Pelicans do. Okay, cool. Mavericks won. Still rooting for you guys. They beat Kawhi and John Wall. Ronnie Brewer and Kev Love have been an absolute force. Same with this man, Peter Bagger. I don't even know who you are but you're here and lebron loses 
yet again in the first round. Him and Mike Conley. I don't think in his actual career he's ever lost in the first round, right? Kings. It will take down the Rockets despite being the lower seed. Uh, oh, wow. Randall CP3. I think they just missed the playoffs last year. CP3, Randall, Ray Allen. Wow. I just realized CP3 was in on the on the Rockets in real life too, but uh, we won't talk about that. Nazi, I, you guys should have been better. We actually, you were the first, fourth seed, but you lost to D Wade, of course, and, and Isaiah Thomas. And found his way in Sacramento regardless. Remember he got drafted to Utah. Would they release him? An old man kind of Tony Parker out here still being Tony Parker. Drogic, 24 and 13, and uh, Bargnani, 23, but not enough to lose to the Lakers. Let me not read off that one because that's not even an upset. Philadelphia, yet again, Rose and Curry lose. You guys got to separate or something. Curry, but they both have mad years in their contract, so that's not happening. You know, neither one of those are getting traded. That's crazy. Rose and Curry cannot coexist. They lose to Russell Westbrook and Pau Gasol and Tobias and Blake. Four to one, two, third seed, the sixth seed. But uh, I mean, they're pretty similar in teams anyways. But then you got Rose and Curry, you know what I mean? Next round, Orlando is out of here. The Kings are out of here. The Mavericks are out of here. They lose to the Suns and the Pistons are out of here. Love 39 and 12. KD 34. Kobe 21 and 9. The 39 and 12 from Love is too much as they win by 23. 23 yeah. In game six over the Mavericks. The Pistons, the one seed. Lose to the Cavaliers, who I don't know how they're doing it. Miami yet again makes their way to the conference finals. Paul George and Lowry. Oh my, I just simulated the round accidentally. Thankfully, for the sake of uh, my soul, the Cavaliers did not win because their team is just crazy weird. But uh, Paul George and them, you know, I mean, they make it back to the finals again. So yeah, you can't say nothing about it. I mean, he, he's at least making it to the finals. That's a pretty big thing. And they beat Russell Westbrook. They beat Carmelo Anthony. And now they uh, well, they beat the Cavs, whatever the hell that means. But yeah, Lakers versus Suns. Wow, Ronnie Brewer and Kevin Love trying to make it to the finals. I love that Ronnie Brewer is a superstar. I don't I, I don't know if I love it enough, actually. Three to three. I'm not jumping in. We could simcast. Okay, Lakers won. The Lakers won. Phoenix is out of here. Bosch, 40 and 12. Brewer, 25 and 9. The Lakers, one of the most storied franchises ever. I think we went through this already in this video or like in recent years that I've, I've talked about how the Lakers didn't win. But yeah, they have not won this entire video ever since 1977. No rings for the Lakers. No Magic Johnson era. No Kareem era. Obviously, it's intertwined. No Kobe and Shaq era. No Kobe era, period, because you end up getting two more as well. And then obviously, LeBron era kind of comes after this. And this though, Vince Carter, Chris Bosh still looking for their first championship. Same with Sebastian. Up against Paul and Kyle. Let's see. And Kyle obviously, I guess, choked last year, but the Lakers haven't had the best of luck in this video. So we'll see if they, uh, you know what I mean, still can get the best of them. Bosh 24, Whiteside 23, Carter 23, but Paul George 32 wins the game 132, 121, I believe it was. The Lakers come back firing though in the next one. Hassan, Hassan Whiteside 33 and 10. This is against Miami too. And, and Kwame Brown, you know, Miami, the team that he was supposed to, you know what I mean, come up on in real life, but uh, hey, instead he's in here playing well about five years early prior or three years early prior to when he said like, oh, I want to get my 2K rating up. You know what I mean? Remember that? Vince Carter, 25 and six, Bosch, 20 and 12, Hassan, 20 and 11. Wow. Terry, 20. They're going to win this game as well. They go up 2-1 and then Miami's going to tie back up. They win by 15 points. Vince Carter, 24, Barkley, 29, 11 and four, Walt Barkley, that is. Just say this is their Jason Terry or something. And Jeff Teague, 21 points, like a young Jeff Teague. I was, I was completely ready to jump in, but the Lakers hold on to win 114 109 i believe actually yeah 114 109 24 7 and 5 hellfare 23 and 11 bosh 18 11 and it looks like uh the lakers are up 3-2 in this series i mean that is what it is doesn't just look like that miami ties it up to force game 7 31 from paul george 29 11 from lowry bosh 33 but let's do it game 7 in los angeles going back and forth lakers pulling away a little bit let's see the los angeles lakers it looks like okay hold on play it safe play it we can uh, i'm not watching no free throws though oh, what just happened Telfair three-point shot miss i don't know whose ball it is but i'm jumping in regardless it's a three-point game with 28 seconds left and of course we still got to have these old school courts jerseys uh scoreboard and everything i love it even though we're in 2013 somehow paul george makes it feel like and actually it makes sense uh pass in oh the steal by the lakers whoa the lakers steal the ball they're already up in the game they can now hold it and take the last shot if they want or you know what i mean not take the last shot but potentially there's about a four second shot clock there differential i think Telfair just stole that on the inbound and uh, they could take as late as a shot as possible is what i meant to say telfer he's gonna get double teamed eight seconds left he's got someone open in the paint who is that duncan duncan goes and dunks it five point lead by the lakers whoa hold on now obviously the double team was a little bit weird even though i actually but dog okay rewind it get through all these seconds thanks thanks who was that that stole the ball vince carter after all these years of waiting for this opportunity this man vince carter comes in matter of fact i believe vince carter made the finals in his rookie season in loss so this man comes back and finally takes care of business because it looks like up by five points now off of the steal. It looked like this guy could have hit Paul George or Lowry pretty easily, but maybe uh, Varejao's blocking your, your vision. I don't, is Varejao that wide? No, he's not, but 
whatever. Harry Shadow did like to try and draw charges, though, or flop. You know, either way, you know, both work. The Bash and Telfair, 19 on 8 for 14 shooting. Round passing in the ball. Oh, it's Kwame. Kwame into Lowry. Lowry corner three is off. Rebound Varejao. And that is it. They're not even going to foul the Lakers. One of the first championship uh, celebrations we're seeing in a minute. But they're going to win the 2015 championship. Sebastian Telfair. Chris Bosh finally gets his first ring. So now him, Wade, him, Wade and Braun all did get rings regardless. I'm still waiting for my guy Melo, just like in real life. Although I don't really even honestly care. Like, I think I mentioned that earlier. I don't really care if he wins in real life. It'd be cool though. He's probably, they might let Melo play. Honestly, it's really weird now because Melo obviously was like taken out of the league for like a year. Oh my God, Hassan Whiteside won most value, most whatever the hell, finals MVP. His most valuable player, but his most valuable player of the finals. What the hell? This man, Hassan Whiteside is your finals MVP. He, like I said, this is like around when he was entering the league or not entering, but he was just around like an overseas and all that stuff for like five years after he got drafted. 25 and 14 from Bosch, 21 and 8, 19 and 12 from Telfair, 18 and 16 from Whiteside. He averaged 19 and 11 in the playoffs, but I got to see what the hell. I'll just check your overall stats when it shows us 27 and 9 from George. So that's back to back finals lost by Miami. And this is actually the same exact finals I just realized that we just saw last year in real life. The, uh, you know, I mean, the bubble final. 20 and 12 from Whiteside, and the finals is good enough for finals MVP. Good for me if it's good for you. I don't really, you got the championship regardless. Is that like an Iguodala type of finals MVP? I don't know. You tell me. Antoine Jameson retires at 38. Baron Davis retires. Kevin Garnett retires. So he didn't really, I mean, he made 11 all star teams. He's going to be a Hall of Famer, but yeah, he's unable to get that one ring. Steve Nash also unable to get the, I still can't believe that. Is that even true? That's still crazy to me. Yeah. So this was, this was Nash's rookie year, 2038, right? And he lost to Terrell Brandon and Shaq. Terrell Brandon finals MVP. Maybe it wasn't, but I don't really know. I'm just talking now, but you know, he, he lost a, he lost a couple of championships, I think, or maybe at least one. Ray Allen retires. He might not make nothing with that. But he did hit 6,200 threes in his career, which is pretty crazy. Kenyon Martin, Hall of Fame bound, maybe. Six all-star appearances. It's possible. Most improved player one time. Raja Bell was still on the team, even as he retired. Ashawn Prince has just seen retired. He didn't even really do much. Sean Livingston retires. Wow. A little bit early for him. Reggie Bullock. Oh, God. Why you do this, my guy? He just hit a game tying shot yesterday. Hall of Fame. Wow. All the guys. Kevin Garnett, Steve Nash, Ray Allen, and Martin. I could have sworn Ray Allen was not. I mean, I guess his stats as a career is, yeah, is definitely really good, but his but his resume wasn't that great. Kenyon played 600 less games than these guys. How old was Kenyon? 36, 13 years. Did they just cut off like half his career? I don't even know. Actually, yeah, because he was drafted in 01, and those guys were drafted in like 95, 96 era. Yeah, you kind of lose five years there. This year, obviously, we already know the deal. It's a draft of uh, Towns, Porzingis, and them. See if any of these guys actually end up being instant impact, crazy impact players as the Pacers, Knicks, Celtics, all of them. Uh, my Knicks actually jumped up finally to the second pick the celtics nuggets warriors pacers are they gonna draft chris Oswald again no they got d'angelo russell it's supposed to be john wall uh, i mean they already have he could work as a shooting guard though is this say he's only a point guard what the hell I'm about to change that in a second so they can play him next to uh what's his name next to rondo so rondo's been actually been pretty good for them as they have him michael beasley anthony randall Tyreek evans and it's definitely hasn't been working well though to be fair devin booker goes to the pacers sealing ming yao for uh miles i like how they say ming yao instead of yao ming for miles turner i saw he actually just got into today kind of sucks honestly because he's pretty cool Montrez Harrell goes to the Bulls anybody else I should be thinking of or is it I think that was it maybe Jaleel Okafor my guy so I swear Jaleel Okafor if he played in 1992 he would have been the greatest center of all time and uh Celtics Town so that's right after you I mean you obviously you lost him a couple years ago but it's literally just Prigioni here now like Prigioni Gallinari like Prigioni out here handing out dimes to just like nobody but he gets cat now so that's I can't believe Prigioni is still that good Bargnani Brewer Wall the Wall is restricted so let me tell you the unrestricted Bargnani Brewer Ginobili and Johnson Paul George Ken you want to go back to my guy I had a feeling Ron was gonna be free agent Ken you want to go back to Braun you leave Braun in the dust like that Bargnani stays with the Spurs Ronnie Brewer leaves the Suns for the Hornets and nobody's gonna stay with the Nets and still try and get a ring with Timmy in his, the last probably four years of his career Ken Johnson goes to the Grizzlies from Minnesota Paul George stays with the Heat Rondo leaves the Knicks for the Pistons so there goes D'Angelo spot like he's gonna be point guard now wow, and the Pistons have been very good too so well, that's kind of interesting and the Grizzlies now have Johnson Kyrie and McCollum very interesting interesting they'll probably be a playoff team now but yeah pistons are now they already were the best team in the league and now they have a starting point guard or like a, wait didn't they have like drogic or something but maybe i'm tripping maybe it's a different team paul Millsap leaves detroit for the hawks which is where he was in real life so i think actually he just joined al horford and lamarcus and uh Jokic too greg monroe goes to the knicks okay i mean he, he could be cool tyson chandler leaves lebron for the nuggets barkley goes to the heat he's already there oh hey hayward timberwolves white sides okay cool so he stays with the lakers the finals mvp Bledsoe stays with the Mavericks.
works. There's a lot of like actual impact players here still. LeBron though, is Tyson's not the best player on the Nugget. He now just has Mike Conley and Jared Jeffries. He's, yeah, he's kind of, it's not really looking too good for Bron. 2015-16, obviously this year, uh, you know what I mean? Brandon Ingram, Ben Simmons and them. All-star captains have been announced. Team Russell Westbrook and Dwayne Wade. Okay, got Boogie in here. Kevin Love, one-time All-Star. Greg Monroe is the key to the Knicks right now. So he's a one-time All-Star. Blake Griffin, one-time All-Star. Chris Bosh, one-time All-Star. James Harden, one-time All-Star. A lot of them, a lot of guys starting to come with it. Although Bosh, Griffin, Bosh has been around for quite some time. Wow, first time appearance for Bosh. Did they lose anybody on the Lakers? Cause that's kind of weird, kind of fishy. Uh, is Vince Carter even an All-Star anymore? No. Look at Boogie out here playing like how they said he'd be Kareem. Oh, and he now has a Ronnie Brewer on his teams too. So maybe that elevated his play. I don't know. D'Angelo, yeah, you're you know, good and well. He's supposed to win rookie of the year because there's nobody on his basketball team. Oh, maybe they're good and I'm just talking too much. Hey, look, Julius Randle. Oh, the Knicks are the eight seed. Look at them. Oh man, they're actually doing something. Wow. We'll talk about the rest of the end of the season. I'm just being biased. Admittedly though, Russell Westbrook wins his most valuable player in the war award a, a year early. That's probably fine by him. He gets it with Orlando, 34 and 13 a game. Pat wins rookie of the year with the Celtics. In fairness, they don't have many other good players anyway. Yeah, he, him and Russell was probably going to win it. Victor Oladipo, six man of the year. Wow. Yeah, so the cat, yeah, the cap, that is true actually. Yeah, Cavaliers are pretty. He's probably one of the key cogs of that team as a Roy Hibbert DPOY. Wow. Julius Randle, most improved. George Gervin, coach of the year. Is he the coach of the Lakers? Because I don't know. I'll check in a second. Westbrook, Wade, Nowitzki, LeBron, and Cousins, first team. Second team, Roy, Rose, Durant, Kawhi, and Joakim. Third team, Manu, Curry, Carmelo, Giannis, and Pau. Giannis with the Seattle Supersonic. Yeah, it says seven years pro, but that's not correct. That's definitely not correct. Wait, is it? No, because we're only in 2016, and he, he was drafted three years ago. I don't know why it says even he has this many. I don't know. This man already shooting well from three. This man, wow, he developed a three-point shot early. There actually is people who, some people who say that he shot a lot more clean when he was like younger and lankier and stuff. Not lankier, but uh, skinnier. But wow, uh, 19, 8, and 7 a game got him on the third team. Seattle, good for you. Ooh, look at the, Gri the Grizzlies got Ken Johnson, right, with Ky Kyrie. Yeah, but we'll look at stats first. He was in points. It was Westbrook Cousins right behind him by point one. Then LeBron, Dirk, and Brandon Roy. Rebound Chandler, Jefferson, Noah, Jordan, and Gasol. Assist Westbrook, Rondo, Prigioni, Telfair, and Lowry. Field goal percentage is Sanders. Point percentage is Emmanuel Cortez. That meant Sanders is really dominating now. D win teams in the West. The Lakers, yet again, boom, looking to repeat. Mavericks, Kobe and KD. Kobe still out here averaging 21 and 52% shooting, which is really, really good actually. And seven assists. Eric Bledsoe averaging 25 and eight a game. Didn't even realize you were that big of a player for this team. And the other two guys are averaging 10 plus in your starting lineup too. But aside from that, they have no bench. No bench, at least in terms of scoring. Vancouver, Kyrie, who averaged 27 a game. Ken Johnson, his teammate. So he left uh, LeBron for Kyrie eventually. And CJ, 27 a game. Spurs are back in contention with 86 overall. Joel Embiid holding it down, down low. Uh, but you know, I mean, you already know this team with Afro Paul Pierce. Kevin Love leading the hell out of this Suns team. Didn't they just have... Oh, they lost Ronnie Brewer and they're still up there. So I guess he wasn't really that good. Um, Kevin Love, look at you though, carrying. I can't even... Yeah, just give you your problem. Move on. Porzingis went to the Nuggets. Wow. Good team for... As he averaged 23. It's not not even... I didn't even really see him on the award race of rookie of the year. But I guess because his rest of his stats aren't really too great. His peripheral stats or whatever the hell you say that word. Kendrick Perkins and Dwight Howard led a team to the seventh seed. And oh my God, the Kings of the eighth seed again. Just give him the championship. LeBron's team missed the playoffs. Yeah, dog. Can you really even blame? I'm, I would not blame him. We got Wes Johnson starting. It's not even Wesley Johnson. It's a fake. It's Wes Johnson. Bruce Erickson. What is that? Leaf Erickson. Shout SpongeBob. Dirk's team is also awful. Wow. Wait, did Tracy? Tracy must have retired some time ago, right? I forget. They could have just traded Tracy. They never got their ring. That man is the worst team. And he's on the worst team in the league. Mar DeRozan got traded for Jamal Crawford. Wow. Two of the league's best six men in this league. Maul's an 85. And so was, uh, uh, what's his name? Um, DeMar. Kenny Granger for Josh McRoberts. Drew Holiday for PG Tucker. They're actually on the same team in real life, the Bucks. Jason Terry for Ron Artest. That's kind of cool. Ron Artest is on the Lakers again. Yes, he is. There he is. 35 year old, 70, uh, uh, 78 overall. Eastern Conference Cavaliers are the best team in the league with 62 wins. So Oladipo, another case of a player who was off the bench, but now starting, Lisa for now. And I don't even get this team, but here they are. Uh, Larry Sanders, leader in field goal percentage. Of course, that's the only reason why they're up here. Martel Webster averages 20. Oladipo averages 20. 24 and Walker averages 30, but like they're all 87 and under. Hey, good for Kemba if he can get himself around. He playing still like it's a uh, UConn. Esper Griffin and Gasol. Wow, they have a 92 plus overall big three. They're second with uh, 54 wins. And then the Hornets, Boogie Cousins, Brooke Lopez, Jimmy Butler off the bench, and Ronnie Brewer. Yeah, that's right. He took his spot. And Danny Granger. Boogie though out here playing like Kareem, like they said. All right, let's simulate these playoffs real quick. Do I see the Raptors too? Oh yeah, my guy Melo. And they're the first team to get eliminated. I literally, I saw it coming. Three up. New Jersey's at. Tim Duncan, it is not that has been a real big story because I mean him.
him and Kobe both had five rings each in this in this past 20 year span. But in this, no, no. That's 10 total in case, you know, you can't count. The Kings, okay, they actually get eliminated as an eight seed. That's the first time that's ever happened, obviously. The Nuggets are out of here. Pelicans are out of here. Pistons are out of here. Heat are out of here. Suns are out of here. Okay, let me let me check now and just, you know, let me move on. Miami, after making it to the finals twice, finally, for God's sake, the 76ers get past the first round. Darrell Wright, Yao Ming. Wow, Yao Ming, old self. But he's only 34 and he's actually still an 88 overall. He's been around in Philadelphia for a long time. I wonder how uh, how he's uh, feeling over there during that Steph Curry and Derrick Rose can't coexist. Wow, Derrick Rose 40 a game. Okay, yeah, that's what it took to get out of this round. I guess Jamal Crawford was a cool enough trade. But aside from that, no other upsets. Uh, Kobe's team is still here. Memphis, so it's Kobe versus Kyrie in this series too. Kyrie is one of the most Kobe reminiscent players I see play nowadays, obviously. San Antonio, Bargnani, Evelyn, Orlando, Westbrook, Charlotte, uh, Cousins. Okay, Vancouver's out of here. Dallas advances to the conference finals. Charlotte's out of here. San Antonio loses and so does Philadelphia. So it's the one versus two seed in both conferences. But the, you know, the question is, what are those one and two seeds? Well, uh, on this side, it'll actually be pretty interesting. Very interesting. Very, very interesting because it's Westbrook, Blake Griffin, and Gasol versus like this other team that just has a bunch of really good players that figure it out and are really, really good. That's very interesting. I would assume, honestly, the Cavaliers win. I'm not even gonna lie. They have a lot of good players. And then the Mavericks, Kobe and KD versus the reigning champions, Vince Carter, Chris Bosh, Whiteside, and Sebastian Telfer. And then you got Eric Bledsoe with 25 a game. So let's see what the hell happened. Mavericks up 2-0. Okay, tied 2-2 on the other side. Uh, now it's 3-2 in both series. Let me just let me just do this real quick so I can just simulate game by game. Magic are eliminated by the Cavaliers. So they're going to go to the finals. This man, Kobe, makes the finals and gets eliminated to this, this team. I'm going to be sick. Hey, I just realized the Mavericks are playing the Lakers too. So a Kobe versus, uh, you know, team that he was supposed to be on as they lose a game. And it's game seven now. KD 27, Kobe 12 and 10, Bledsoe 16 and 8. But Telfair is 31 and 11. It's a game seven now. Lakers, you going to take this one? Oh man, they're running away with it so far. So hold on, hold on. Now this would be one I jump into if they can make it, if they can score a point. Oh my God. The Mavericks are going to lose another, another year. Kobe Bryant, no championship. I don't even think appearance. Tim probably appeared in a couple, you know, they got drafted together over here in the Mavericks. You know, you guys, we heard a lot about them, you know, coming out of the draft. They were supposed to be some great players, but uh, and they were, they have been, but no championships for Kobe or Tim Duncan. So basically in this league, I don't even want to make comparisons, honestly. Just think Kobe and Tim Duncan with no rings and you'll be surprised. And he actually, wow, he had 29 on 11 for 12. He tried hard as hell. This is 19th year pro. I'm not even sure how that works. I think that's actually inaccurate. It's definitely inaccurate. So don't even worry about that. This is actually his, it would be his 20th year pro because this is 2016, right? Yeah, so this should have been his last year in the league. He would have retired right after this. We'll see what the hell he decides in this. I'm assuming the year's pro is a glitch though. Vince is 30, Bosch is 26 and 13. Telfair, I'm, I'm befuddled by that. But let's see now. Uh, not a rematch because obviously the Heat were in it last year, but the Lakers though, they're back to try and defend their title against this Cavaliers team who's somehow really, really good. About to just check their playoff stats just to prove how they're really, really good somehow. Eric Green, 21 a game. Webster, 15. Oladipo, 25. Walker, 27. They just piece it together somehow. Xander is really efficient, like I keep saying. Solomon, okay. Joe Harris, not doesn't even play actually. They run a kind of short rotation. It's actually only, yeah, eight man rotation, right? Wow. Or nine maybe. Hito doesn't even play this year. Last year, Hito was averaging 20 for this team. He doesn't even play this year. So that shows you how dominant this team is somehow. Cavaliers win game one. Emba 41 to Oladipo 32. At the end of the day, those are the two best players. Game two, Lakers are going to win. Actually, they actually almost came back there. Uh, Walker 30 and three. Green 23. But uh, Telfer 28 and 10. I believe he just Cavaliers with this old school logo still. There is six seconds left. The Lakers have the ball. Let me look, look right here. 105, 106. Lakers have the ball down by one point with six seconds left. I'm going to pass it in here to Telfair, I believe. Oh my God. They gave him that. I'm about to, yo. Nah, I've never interfered with nothing. I'm, I'm not going to, you know what I mean? Help them out here. But let's see though. Let's see what they do. Now they're going to have to foul. And then, oh my God, they pass the ball around dumb fast. Why does Oladipo look taller in real, in this game? What the hell? Okay. No, he's still 6'4". Okay. Okay. I think he's maybe something like that. Or maybe he's just against a short defender. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now there's going to be four seconds left for the Lakers because the eight second thing is stupid. Oladipo, the first is all are right, good. Oladipo, the second is good. Lakers, no timeouts left now. Oh boy. Vince Carter, four seconds left. Three seconds left. Vince is going to pull up from half court and it is off. Oh boy. You guys are down terrible. Vince, 24 on eight for 21. Well, hey, if you would have hit one of those shots, then maybe you wouldn't have been in this position anyways. But uh, nonetheless, I for 20 from Oladipo and four for 16 from Weber and they Webster and they still won. The other team was way more efficient than that. I guess you got, I guess aside from Kemba, it's actually a pretty good defensive team, too. I haven't even thought about defense once in this entire 40 years. You know how the NBA is, man. What the hell is defense, you know? Cavaliers win another game, 137-103. Kemba, 46 points. You gotta give it up to that man, because what the hell is he doing? In a good way, though, you know?
know, the most uh, positive what the hell is he doing ever. And oh my God, they're bodying them again. They would have won this series regardless because, yeah, Sebastian, 22 and 14. Kemba, 42. This man bugged out in the finals. I can tell you right now he was finals MVP. 37 and 5 a game on 61% shooting in the finals. He gave that man Sebastian Telfair a bucket. Six foot Kemba Walker. Is he going to be like the Allen Iverson? Because he's looking like it. I don't think AI won a ring either. But yeah, I mean, I said, of course, you know, he gave his props. He made the Hall of Fame. But I don't think he won a ring. He, his, his teams are pretty bad for a while, too. Is Nazi Muhammad going to be a Hall of Famer? His man retired and he made seven All Star appearances. He might actually make it. Chauncey Billups he retires. He had nothing on his award history. So sorry, Chauncey. Um, you almost, oh my God. Kobe Bryant retired. 14 All Star appearances, one first team All NBA, eight second team All NBA, one third team All NBA, eight first team All defense, three second team All. This man was playing on both ends of the floor, giving you buckets, getting defensive stops. Still had five Hall of Fame bats. He's still a 90 overall. He never won a championship he says it's fun while i was lasting my body can't take it 38 years old i don't know what the hell his career high was obviously it still says 81 from his previous career but uh, in this season he's 40 years old or 38 years old he still dropped 37 so it must have been some prolific that is disheartening and vince carter right after losing the championship came in one of the years right after kobe either 98 97 something like that he at least got his ring and i i think he's gonna make he's definitely gonna make hall of fame i believe ricky davis retires 100 hall of famer if they don't give this man hall of fame this entire video is rigged okay no it's obviously not rigged because then i would be the one rigging it but i would i would not i would rig it in favor of ricky davis because what the hell and became one of the favorite players in this league just because he dominated john salmon's retired i gave you some random face scan michael peters retired hi michael peters earl watson you actually had a pretty good career you're playing pretty well for some time jameson brewer retired you had a pretty good career too i can't even lie david lee you probably did nothing 2016 hall of fame class kobe bryant ricky davis and vince carter i was so not tempted but i really wish i could have just overridden Kobe's retirement thing there, but 1,509 games played. Actually, probably more. Like I said, I think they actually are holding him on his years pro. I actually said, didn't it just say 17? Now it says 19 or my tripping? Regardless, doesn't matter. Uh, he's going to get, obviously, wow, he doesn't get a jersey. What? Kobe doesn't get a jersey retired? Maybe he already did it like last year or something. They didn't retire. I mean, I guess, but Jazz didn't retire this man's number. That is crazy. I wonder, is 24? Okay, so 24 and 8 aren't retired over here. Those are the only two numbers he could have worn, I would assume. Hell, I don't even think we ever got to jump into a Kobe gameplay because he never made the finals with the Jazz or made the finals in general, right? He was one game away from making it, although they did lose to the Cavaliers anyways, the team that he played, but one game away, his final game, dog. I, he, this man went out shooting 11 for 12. Oh uh, yeah, you gotta give him his props. Draft lottery, Warriors, Hawks, Pacers, Celtics, Clippers. It's gonna go to the Supersonics though. Good for them, I guess. And uh, will they draft Ben Simmons this year? Uh, yep, yeah, Ben Simmons to the Supersonics. Wait, wasn't Giannis on the suit? Or was Gian where was Giannis at? Oh boy, how were they back? Let me see what their record was. Because did they get that much luck? I think they just came out of nowhere with it. They did They did get pretty good luck, I would assume. Yeah, 33 wins. They were like the seventh or eighth. They got pretty solid luck. Oh my God, bro. This team, that's any Supersonics, Thunder fan, whatever the hell you want to classify yourself as. Greg Oden to this day isn't really that great. And yeah, he's wow, he's really not that great. To this day, this man shoots 40% from the field and I don't get it. They now have Giannis. Amari is still here. He was doing just fine uh, around when he was around the league or whatever. Greg Oden actually just expired. So he might just leave and they could play Giannis at center or something. I would help him out. Or actually, Amari. Andrew Wiggins is here now too. No wonder he didn't win Rookie of the Year. Oh my God, they got Wiggins. who's cool himself. They got Norman Powell and now they have Ben Simmons. Yakum goes to the Celtics to be with Cat. Hawks get Jalen Brown. Why does he... Is that like a cyber... Hold on, can I see that? Actually, just simulate Pat. Can I see... Is that like a cyber face or something? Why does he look like that? It looks like they didn't try. It looks like him, but it doesn't look like him. It's something about it. I don't know. I can't tell. So bonus goes to the Pacers, like in real life, but not like in real life. He was actually with the Thunder and got drafted out of the Magic and got traded for Serge Ibaka or something like that. Warriors get Brandon Ingram. So excited, New York. We drafted Torian Prince. Harris LeVert to the Bucks. Jamal Murray to the uh, Timberwolves. It says it's going to be John Wall. Timberwolves won a ring not too long ago, right? All right, let's, uh, let's continue. Derrick Rose, unrestricted free agent. Okay, those years went by fast. I was saying, oh yeah, him and Curry got some years left. They went by pretty quickly. Got on Emmanuel and uh, now, uh, yeah, Kyrie restricted. Love could go somewhere. Kevin Love on a good team would be dirty because he's been carrying the hell out of his teams. Okay, Derrick Rose resign oh my god i'm i'm happy regardless i said he on a good team he'd be incredible but kevin love goes to the knicks let's do it kevin love joins my new york team we now have greg monroe who was just an all-star and kevin love come on out no defense at all but you know what you guys and d'angelo will figure it out did michael beasley leave? that was a sacrifice sorry michael yeah i love michael beasley but wait didn't i say in that draft that i would rather have kevin love so hey you got him seven years later or whatever more than seven uh, actually no it's actually i think it's exactly seven years maybe eight nine ten eleven twelve uh greg odin leaves seattle for the Pacers 
so they, they should be fine regardless. Joakim Noah just went to the Pacers with him, though. That doesn't even make sense. Zach Randolph leaves Chicago for the Bucks. Oh, wait, did he just join Gilbert? Gilbert's been, you know, I mean, fiending for some town for some years. White Howard stays with uh, the Pelicans. Dirk goes to the Nets. Hold on. This man, Dirk, doesn't have a ring either. I don't even know where the hell Tracy McGrady is. He might have retired, and I'm just forgetting. No, he definitely didn't retire because I would remember this man joining the Hall of Fame for sure. And he did not. These are all the Hall of Fame inductees so far. Somehow, Allen Iverson got inducted twice. This man's a great, McGrady's just around somewhere. He's just old somewhere. Specifically, literally nowhere. He was on Denver and didn't play. But Dirk's still trying to get that ring. He goes to the New Jersey Nets to join Tim Duncan and Manu Ginobili, which is kind of a scary old man trio. Clay Thompson somehow just got out of Washington and is going to the Suns with LaMarcus Aldridge. So not a bad Kevin Love replacement. Those two. Pablo Prigioni goes to the Hawks, which he's just notable somehow. He's just Pablo Prigioni being Pablo Prigioni. Kemba Walker stays with the Cavaliers, thankfully for them. The reigning champions now. I'm actually not really that mad at them winning it because he was really, really good. J.R. Smith is loyal to Melo and his Raptors team. Michael Beasley got went to the Jazz. No. As I'm talking about their trio, Tim Duncan left for the Bullets. So forget the trio. Tim Duncan left it. I actually was kind of excited to see if Timmy could have win, win, win a ring because Kobe's kind of, you know, I mean, his kind of, uh, it, it depressed me to see Kobe Bryant not to win a ring. So I kind of at least want to see Tim get one. That'll probably piss off Kobe. It's like Shaq and Kobe 2.0, except Tim and Kobe probably just stared at each other in the locker room. Or maybe Kobe yelled at him a little bit, but Tim kind of just like ate some ice cream and looked back at him a little bit. You know, good and well, they weren't arguing. Tim was probably sitting back eating popcorn, enjoying the argument like it was a soap opera series, even though he was in the argument himself. I'm not even saying Kobe's the arguing type. I'm just trying to picture a, another a, a Kobe and Shaq duo where they get into the same beef, except it's, it's Tim Duncan. Now it's Tim Duncan and uh, the man who they said was going to be Patrick Ewing or Rudy Gobert, who's not that bad. I mean, he is Rudy Gobert. And this team is kind of awful. So, Timmy, yeah, you good luck. All right, let's just continue. 2016 17, right? 11 26. I've been here for an hour and a half, and I don't know how many years we've done. Big time draft class year. I saw Tatum was ranked 13th, but aside from that, Frank Neal Aquino, you know, big time year. Should be a very interesting year. I want to see if my Knicks can finally do something with Kevin Love on the team because he was playing God mode. They probably won't, though. I say that they just lost on the schedule. To, well, that's to the Lakers, to be fair. Team Russell and Team Dwayne. It's cool. I think that was the same thing last year, right? Kyrie, one time All Star. Gordon Hayward, one time All Star. Dirk is on here. Giannis is on here. Giannis, one time All Star. Kevin Love, a two time All Star. Okay. Bash and Telfair is fourth in the MVP race, right? Because Vince retired. So they, he, I, wow. And they're still actually 36 and 13, even without Vince. They're the best team. Oh, LeBron's Trailblazer. They sign anybody or is LeBron just LeBron? -ing? LeBron is just LeBroning, it looks like. They got Lyle Solomon, and I think he was actually one of the guys who was on the Cavs, right? Yeah. Aside from that, I mean, Dario Saric, sure. He was already there. Sessions, Bill, Mason Plumley. LeBron is LeBron. -ing. Mavericks are still 30 and 18. Obviously, they still got Kevin Durant. If they win a ring, I'll be slightly pissed off. But then again, KD needs to get, needs to get his rings, too. I was not worried about Kevin Durant, though, with Kobe Bryant in the, twi in the twilight of his career. Who the hell replaced Vince Carter on this team? Bryce Duncan. That's not really great. Jason Thompson. Wow. What I feel like. Wow. Wow. Wasn't he? Who the hell was in the dunk contest? No, it wasn't. It was some dude from Utah. I think it was a Jason. I can't remember, though. Brandon Roy, when the hell are you going to win a uh, MVP? Because it looks like you've been around just, uh, you know what I mean? Hovering around here for a while. I mean, and wait, you want a ring? No, you want a ring. I was just trying to take this away from you. I knew I wasn't tripping. This man is a finals MVP talking about, oh, he don't got a ring. Oh, there goes Brandon Roy, most valuable player. You're building one hell of a career. I can't lie. You got as many rings as Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan, Tim Duncan, Dirk Nowitzki, Tracy McGrady have combined. Ben Simmons, rookie of the year. Being, well, it's actually kind of surprising, though, because you know, your team's actually kind of like good, really good. But then again, he does like to pass, but he didn't even really pass that much. He passed six assists. It's pretty good. JJ Hickson, sixth man of the year, of course. Don't know how the hell that adds up. Uh, Roy Hibbert, DPOI again. Clay Thompson, most improved player, 34 a game. George Gervin, coach of the year. I was supposed to check if you were, if you were coach of whatever team, but I don't remember. I didn't check. Roy Westbrook, LeBron, KD, and Cousins all me first team. Are you still Kareem? Yep, still playing like a Kareem. Curry, Rose, the two teammates still. Dirk, Giannis, and Gasol, second team. Third teams, Telfair, Wade, George, Leonard, and Towns. Mavericks and Lakers and Trailblazers just tie at 54. We know good and well what players those three teams have. Gosh, Whiteside and Telfair, that was really a top. I mean, that makes sense. They have, they're all 390 overall. Does Son ever get close to a 90 overall? He probably got to like an 88. I think it was like his lifetime goal to get his 2K rating up. Season stats, points, leaders is a Roy, Clay Thompson, Steph Curry, Westbrook, and James. Rebounds is Randolph, Jordan, Jefferson, Gasol, and Howard. Assists is Prigioni, Rondo, Harris, Westbrook, and Telfair. Oh, right. Yeah. Roy is getting dimes from this man, Rondo. Second year there, too. Kyle Corver, 52% from three. It's pretty crazy. Okay. On the other conference, New Jersey now with Dirk instead of Tim Duncan. Actually, even took a step back in terms of his stats. And went from averaging 33 as a 36 year old to averaging 25 as a 37 year old, which is 
both are insane regardless manu too he's averaging 28 and they were the first seed with really nobody a young malcolm brogdon literally in his rookie year who did win rookie of the year, uh, rookie of the year to be fair in real life they really have nobody i remember J james white james flight white this man tried to dunk from the free throw line and dunk contest he did it successfully he took a lot of attempts though i just stepped in like a little bit over the line but it's cool this team oh yeah and jj hickson yeah you're cool miami yet again trying to get another we'll get back to the championship and win this time campbell walker still being campbell walker 29 or 30 a game you could say jimmy butler now starting for the orlando magic wow he got out of charlotte okay that's very interesting and then you got tobias off the bench i seen corver was on there too brandon roy rondo okay so yeah that's actually all the 50 win teams over here and my knicks finally made the playoffs love 25 and 12 the greg monroe tory and prince is starting and you made the playoffs jesus that's crazy just how good d'angelo at 87 overall tyreek holding it down oh man Greenberg's actually kind of uh, efficient too and uh steph curry and derrick rose are the eight seed oh god sacramento's the eight seed again tony and d wade still together all these years still almost both 99 overalls and they're still that good very interesting league we got going on here to be honest with you solely because my knicks are in the playoffs finally they're a good 80 years and they're they're gonna lose obviously they're, they're gonna lose it's about to pop up in a second as I'm, i haven't even i'm not even announcing the teams wait they actually might win hold on it's three to three i know my my face cam's blocking it but hold on i'm just gonna simulate and hope to god that they win oh my god they won they beat new jersey another team to make new jersey cursed and g Jesus, the Sacramento Kings win four to three yet again. Kevin Durant loses in the first round, but I really meant yet again because uh, Dwayne Wade and Tony Parker yet again, the eighth seed win and beat another first seed. This is their third time they did it because I think the other two times, both times made it to the final. Another upset. Hell, there's a ton of upsets. Actually, just this four, four of them. Memphis, Kyrie, CJ McCollum, and uh, Ken Johnson lose to Goran Dragic, Bargnani, and MB. Slight little upset, but it was 4-1 to be fair. Denver, Kristaps Porzingis, 39. Levine, 22. Aflalo, 20. They they beat LeBron James 46 points in game six, but they win by two points regardless of LeBron's efforts. That's the other upset. And then my Knicks didn't even look at this yet. Dirk 28 and seven in game seven, Manu 24 and 11, but, but, but New York, Kevin Love 40, D'Angelo 25 to win in game seven by 19 points. Oh man, it has been tough. They really have never been like, they really weren't good in this seat. That is crazy. That is, that is nuts. They're genuinely, I know like it doesn't actually even feel like it, but they, they genuinely have been one of the worst teams in the simulation. Atlanta too, because of the way they mishandled Michael Jordan's thing. But I mean, you had Michael Jordan's so that ex immediately exempts. To, ex eh, I can't speak. They, whatever. Yeah, you get. It. I don't even remember who the hell the Knicks had prior to Rajon Rondo. They're gonna probably lose to this Cavaliers team though. Yep, there the hell it goes. Because Cavaliers are really, really good. But I'm proud of you guys for getting past there anyway. Okay, the Kings actually lost to San Antonio. So Goran, Paul Pierce, and Bargnani was too much. And Embiid, who's not even scoring, and I guess he doesn't really have to with this team. But Drogic, Pierce, and them. Oh, they have Tyler Hansborough on this team too. Look at this man, Tyler. He was like a legend of the college. I think he was up with Duke, right? Right or something? I don't know. And then he was uh, good with... I mean, it wasn't really good, but he played a lot of years with the Pacers, I believe. But yeah, they beat D-Wade in five games. The Lakers able to beat Denver. So sorry uh, to Levine and Porzingis, but Sebastian Telfair is God in this. Okay, Miami versus Cleveland. Paul George, DeAndre Jordan, and Kyle Lowry versus the team that somehow it's Kemba Walker and Oladipo bodying everybody. Really, Kemba Walker. On the other side of things, you got Sebastian Telfair and Chris Bosh and Hassan versus Joel, Andrea, Paul Pierce, who's kind of old now obviously because he kind of retired in the, the the year prior to this actually and goran Dragic, very good matchups both ways let's see what happens 2-1 in both series okay 2-2 two, two. hold on hold on 3-2 two, 4-2 two, miami miami actually overtakes the cavaliers this time around have they played like four straight conference finals of those two hell they've been really good those two teams though shout out to cleveland miami miami's still looking for the championship and it will be against the lakers yet again even without vince carter they make it back let's see if paul george can capitalize on them i don't know not having vince carter this year not that he's some sort of elite defender although he did have the big defensive play to win the championship but i mean not having to guard him a lo little bit less energy expended as a yeah look at this 125 106 Elfair 29 15 but paul george 37 definitely a lot more energy on offense very good defensive player as we know but he doesn't have to guard vince carter to guard juan carlos navarro as the lakers are able to win this game though 38 7 and 10 from Telfair. hell you might want to switch paul george on him this game next one up hey, miami's got control of this one they're gonna win by six points or maybe not but regardless they win by four points 29 from Telfair. 25 8 and 3 from Paul George. Paul George out here going crazy. We haven't even seen Kawhi make any finals run. But then again, the, I feel like the East, I don't know, is the West? Yeah, the West is pretty stacked, I guess. Yeah, it is It is pretty stacked. Let's get some gameplay going. Big time game for the Lakers because if they lose, they're down 3 1. But obviously, if you win, you, you're tied 2 2. It's Lowry, number 14, has the ball. He's going to make his way all the way to the basket for the layup. He makes a two point lead, 109 left. Hellfair bringing it up. Hellfair, 105 left. He's got Bosch wide open. Bosch, the dunk is good. 56 seconds left. The spin by Lowry. Lowry into the jump shot. That is off. Rebound by Bosch. Bosch over to tell 
Telfair. Ari's about to full court press the hell out of him, but he's going to drop back now to try and guard him a little bit better because Telfair is really, really good. Is he going to pass? Then a force to pass to Navarro. Navarro for three. It's all George forcing it out of uh, Telfair's hands. You know, George kind of knows what he's doing on defense as Myers dunks it down. 136, 134 Miami lead. I feel like, I don't know. I, I, I can't recall Miami's entire history, but obviously this would be their first ring if they haven't won one in the simulation because they kind of didn't exist prior to the simulation. So yeah. Uh, okay, the layup by Telfair blocked by Paul George. What did I say? Put him on Paul or vice versa. And it looks like Miami should hold on this one. I'm going to let him get fouled. And then I'm going to go Simcast because I don't feel like watching the free throws. Uh, okay, you're going to foul. There you go. Hey, oh, 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 oh. Okay, 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 okay. Bosch, close jump shot made N1. Lowry made one of two free throws. He missed the first, made the second. Then Bosch made a close jump shot plus the foul and the free throw. Let's jump in. Miami has the ball tied with 14 seconds left. Pass into Lowry. Lowry, 12 seconds left. Lowry going left. 10 seconds left. 8 seconds left. Lowry, he's going to the screens off ball set. He's going to get the screen going left. Lowry pulls up moving three. It is good. Kyle Lowry wasn't a three. It was a deep two, but they are on their way now. One more stop and they will have a 3-1 lead in the final. Like how on the cardboard cutout of Lowry, they like make his hair into a triangle shape. You see that over there on the left side? Paul George, 33 on 14 for 17. Wow, Paul. Okay. Now you just need one more stop, Paul. Jump on anybody who has the ball. Are you even in the game? Any oh man, Telfair open for the layup to force over time this man mixed lowry this man mixed lowry the off ball jukes looking like a madden player or an nfl player but you know i mean madden uh, uh you hit the right stick whatever i haven't played madden in so long actually but regardless this man went oh i'm gonna take the corner three nope sorry kyle and the great pass by duncan is that duncan i mean it's not tim but regardless be his son he has been around for a while and the wide open layup where did lowry get lost oh man lost this man on the perimeter until fair forces overtime my my god the lakers are not out of it yet like i said they needed one more stop they didn't get the stop miami what you up to okay 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 la i see you i see you i see you. all george into myers myers back to george over to lowry lowry i feel like lowry has a short a lower cut now right oh man he throws it away double teams be working sometimes i can't blame him i mean i hell i i i, I can relate i'd be calling him randomly sometimes when i'd be playing pass over to our test ron our test that's right was he the one who just got the steal a second ago because i don't know Hellfair double team back to ronnie boy ron our test from deep it is off read Pass over to Lowry. Lowry there up by one point. Over to Myers. Myers back to George. We already know Ron Artest had a very big shot in the uh, 2010 finals, was it right? And oh my God, Telfair, another steal. Telfair on the break over to Navarro. Layup blocked by Myers. Myers, are you a real person? I don't know, BJ Myers. You have 35 points though. 79 overall. Whoa. This man averages like, like four or something. Hold on. We got we to gotta appreciate this because he's averaging 11 in the playoffs, nine in the season. He's in his rookie year. He's 30. 31 years old in his rookie year and this would be his career high if it was in the actual regular season that's a brandon roy with the 62 but this would be his career high with 35 points and he just had the game saving block now he has to hit some free throws he's uh, i don't think he's hit any actually okay well actually wait are they they're not in the bonus yet they're not they're not but they're still gonna make him shoot it aren't they this man myers ready he's ready for the action myers he comes up to take the free throws i gotta watch these the myers you see this man one of the most random oh 99 okay myers he's getting mvp chance this this man averages like 11. I love it. I love it. This is your finals MVP. Screw it. Why not? Oh, man. Lakers take a timeout. Down by three still, though. Pass in a Navarro. Navarro, three, uh, four, 14. Uh, what the hell? I was about to say down by three. Three seconds left. Navarro goes between the legs like 14 times. Eight seconds left. Navarro pulls up for three. It is off. Rebound over to Lowry. Lowry, that is going to do it. All right, he's got to hit one. Last time I subbed out or went to Simcast, you missed. Okay, there you go. Lowry's getting MVP chance now, too. These men, they're mad wishy-washy with it. I mean, then again, look at this. Lowry. 27 13 myers 37 paul george 38 Elfair 37 and 17 but they miami wins is that it wait, was that it for the finals actually that am i tripping wait no, no no that was the same game okay 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 so miami just took a 3-1 lead that was one hell of a long game will they actually close it out uh, i'll only jump in if i need to but i didn't as the lakers won by 20 hassan 29 and 16 paul 31 a three two you guys have to close it out that's kind of how you have to win the fourth game and they're gonna do it the miami heat are going to win the 2017 finals chris botch loses to his team in an alternate dimension dimension or whatever 21 and 9 26 from bj myers this man in the finals randomly completely randomly 37 26 this man's career high was 22 and he put up 24 in an earlier playoff performance too they had one hell of a long playoff run wow was his career high 24 i or, yeah it was or 22 i don't know i'm looking at minutes actually too what the hell i'm really tripping but yeah no i, I don't even regardless bj congrats to you because you you really bugged out you hell you might be fun no, you're not finals MVP.
happy, but dog, you were like, I don't even know what to compare you to, honestly. 28, six and four game from 26 year old Paul George. Actually in his seventh year in the league now, he would have already been getting ready to get traded to this Thunder because you already know Westbrook was supposed to be the MVP this year. Obviously he didn't have Paul George on this team when he won the MVP. And uh, yeah, Miami wins their first ever championship ever. I said ever twice for no reason. Andre Miller retired. It says this man played 30 years pro. Obviously he didn't, but shout out to him as uh, he had, he was a one-time champion, I guess. Uh, Stefan Marbury had a pretty cool little career. Um, He retires with the Celtics. Tim Duncan retires, obviously Hall of Famer. Uh, you know what I mean? Nine time, what is this? No, nine, uh, 11 time all NBA player, 10 time first team all defense rookie of the year, 14 time all-star, but no championships. Obviously, yeah, you gotta be heavily critical of this man because uh, he left Kobe for Manu, then him and Manu didn't win one, him and Kobe didn't win one. So you wonder what the hell happened. Paul Pierce, he retires a year after he retired in real life. And what 2K says is his 18th year pro, but he was a one-time champion, 11 time all-star, one time most improved player as well. T-Mac retires without a team, but he will make the Hall of Fame for sure. He didn't even play in his last season, but he, I mean, uh, I'm not even gonna read the stats because I don't know if they're glitched or whatever. Lamar Odom retires as well. The cool little career, I would assume with him. I mean, you know, he's a Lamar Odom. He's gonna Lamar Odom is Lamar Odom, Lamar Odom. Hamilton, Jason Terry, Rashard Lewis, Pablo Prigioni. No, how you gonna do it to my guy? How is he still so so good of an overall? I don't even know. Ken Johnson. Whoa. I forgot how old this man was. Remember when Braun signed him out of the G League? I said he was like 28 or something. This man retired. It's a 12 years pro. This man had three championships, five all-star appearances, four all-NBA appearances. He might be a Hall of Fame. He, I mean, he, he probably should be. He really should be, actually. But I don't know if they'll give it. We'll see. He Andrew Bynum. Okay, I guess he didn't really do much in this career. Nate Robinson, Josh Smith. You too. We've seen Josh Smith win MVPs in some of these, but in this one, hell no. Tim Duncan, Trace McGrady, and Paul Pierce. Man, give a Hall of Fame to my guy. Wait, wait are they missing anybody? Tim Duncan, Trace McGrady, Paul Pierce? No, no, no. Th those three were definitely locking. But Ken Johnson should have been a locking too, dog. Five-time All-Star, three-time champion, four-time All-NBA in 12 years. Yeah, I don't know about that. His stats weren't all too crazy, but I mean, his uh, he had some sort of impact if he was that good. I would say the Knicks should have been in this lottery too. I w wish they would, but in fairness, uh, who cares? Because you were in like a ton of lotteries and never drafted anybody. You drafted Michael Beasley and Tyreek Evans. Bucks and Nuggets traded, or the Clippers traded their pick and Houston traded their pick. The Clippers going to get it back though. Yes, it was protected. Good for them. Pacers, Jazz, Bulls, Clippers, Bullets. Let's see who the hell gets drafted where. Obviously, we're entering the later years of this, so I don't know if any of these players are really going to make huge impacts anyways. They might, though. They definitely could. Jason Tatum goes to the Clippers. They luck out with that. George Gerben Hall of Fame. Bam on a bio goes to the Bulls. Jazz get Donovan Mitchell again with the second pick. Not with the second pick like in real life, but you know what I mean? It was like 14th or something. 13th, I think. Actually, they traded for the pick too. That's Trey Lyles. And uh, De'Aaron Fox is drafted first to the Pacers. I don't even remember. Oh, the Clippers just ended probably their run with, uh, you know what I mean? Ricky Davis and Jason Richardson. Yeah, that sucks. So they're, they're finally back to mediocrity or trash. Frank Nielakina goes to the Warriors. Lonzo Ball goes to the Suns. And it says he's going to be Chris Paul, which is, you know what I mean? Coincidental. I, and, and Ricky Rubio, two Suns point guards, the last two Suns point guards. I think they were hyping up Lonzo Ball to Phoenix for a while too. But then again, they were hyping up Lonzo Ball to everywhere. Markel Fultz to the Bullets, which is where Tim Duncan was, but he retired, obviously. I'm a league monk, kind of look like me. Free agency, Chris Paul, Steph Curry. They're both unrestricted. Pow is, Kyle Lowry is, Blake Griffin is, DeAndre. Okay, okay. I see you guys. Amari too. Amari's teams have not done anything, but Chris Paul goes to the Celtics. What rookies have just been drafted there? And Chris, Steph Curry goes to the Spurs. Pau Gasol goes to the 76ers. Where were you at? Pau Gasol was with uh, Orlando. He was with Westbrook. Lowry, thankfully for them, they just won the championship. He stays with the Heat. Blake Griffin stays with the Magic. He's going to stay with Westbrook. DeAndre ends up finding his way to the Clippers regardless. Rico Bear saves with the Bullets. Amari goes to the Bulls. He actually got traded. Utah? Okay. Utah really sold. Can I see what Utah traded for him? Actually, yeah, we really got to clown Utah now. Kwame got traded too. This man just got traded for Al Jefferson, who's on a three-year deal. Yeah, you guys really lost that one because they're very similar. Wow. Jazz have just been all time trash because you couldn't do anything like you get blamed too, of course, for not giving supporting roles, supporting cast to, uh, you know, what I mean, Kobe and, and Tim Duncan. What I said, that sounded like when Kobe said Bikram yoga stretch. Remember that Bikram, right? What, what was that that he said? Hold on. Spurs, 76ers, Celtics. Right. So yeah, like I said, Derek Rose, that's Pau Gasol now instead of Steph Curry. You tell me whether that's good or not. Obviously, Pau only has like four years left until he retires, but each his own. Chris Paul, the best player in the league right now, according to this. One of four 99 overalls with Wade Westbrook and LeBron. That makes sense to be fair. Wade probably wouldn't have been 99. In, I mean, obviously, but I mean, no injuries. Hell, maybe, you know, possibilities are endless. But uh, yeah, Chris Paul joins Kat and Siakam and whoever the hell else. I'm going to take a minute for that team to formulate into anything. The Spurs, though, that's where Curry went. Oh my God, he joins Bargnani and Bede. He actually is replacing somebody, but I can't remember. 
is it somebody who retired oh yeah paul pierce maybe somebody else too i'm if i'm not if i'm you know i mean not remembering correctly but okay this is really crazy actually curry might start dominating for his teams him i mean he already was doing pretty well for himself big the knicks big three does not know what the hell defense is and season 2017-18 is upon us it's 12 11 a.m and i'm gonna finish this tonight i'm gonna, I'm gonna end it i'm gonna call it a day this is crazy but this is finally coming to an end shay deandre luca you already know who the hell these guys are 2018 class so recent i uh, guess we're back to the modern day except everything is completely different what if anything in real life would change if the nba was this you know, have you ever thought of like if sports were different would it actually affect real life too because well of course commercially like you know michael jordan wouldn't have the michael jordan like my commercials if he didn't have six rings but that aside like would like anything major like how many people would be different if there was no michael jordan to look up to no then it would just be bernard king but would bernard king have the same like aura as michael jordan i don't know bernard king was crazy with it but then again also too bernard king was what the 80s so it's like how i mean bird and magic both won i think at least three rings so brandon roy and lebron you got cat one time all-star and starter wow and that man chris paul turned this man to an all-star starter matter of fact chris paul's off the bench and he's a 99 and bead and Jokic are both one time all-stars john wall really took this long wow i seen you around doing your john wall thing but i mean i didn't wow oh you also have Kawhi too that's true brandon roy hell you're looking like you might be i would actually love if you just took over randomly for these last couple of years you already have you already won a ring and an mvp even though it's for some reason it still doesn't show you have your ring but it's okay we know what happened we were here it's like how people be saying wilt didn't exist but then walt clive frazier's like i was thinking about the other day i was listening to the next broadcast i'm like wait you'll be talking about wilt didn't exist but i hear walt clive frazier talking about stories of wilt chamberlain like uh hello he was there do you think like they did that much effort into like duping you like they created like you if you if you think that wilt chamberlain didn't exist like do you also believe that they also like created these other people or paid them off or something to make you think that wilt chamberlain exists that much brandon roy most valuable player obviously existed but like his like records and all that like people literally went up against him when he scored 100 hell i think clyde might have went up against him because he was that was, that was a team he, i don't know why did this man's roy hip this is roy hibbert on the lakers no why did his picture change the lakers picture the washed up roy it was it always like that he Schroed six man of the year which he actually i think he should have won last year but he didn't win and cat most improved player and he made first team all nba too so he went from third team to first team and that's most improved i don't know you tell me roy telfair durant lebron and cat are the all nba first team second team is wade westbrook bargnani Nowitzki, and gasol third team is arenas rose onto the kumpo leonard and Jokic. and you got the defensive look at ronnie brew is still out here like and eric green wow 58 and 24 for my new york knicks is the best team in the eastern conference wow i really wish i rigged this but i did it i don't even understand this what oh my god they traded for joe whoa 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 they when did they trade kevin love for joakim noah i need to know this because that frightens me how have they been doing since oh god i have a bad feeling that they were really really good and then traded kevin love for joakim uh no joakim noah and thaddeus young for kevin love and a 61 first round pick which i don't know what the hell year well i mean obviously yeah whatever that was in january in the playoffs in this i think are in J june they had to be good regardless i don't understand it though at least you did get some defense on your team but it's just d'angelo greg monroe otto porter tyreek evans thaddeus young and joakim no oh my god are they gonna pull like a cavaliers plus uh, d'angelo's the new kemba for this team oh man they might just lose first round too but let me let me be excited they're, they're the first seed for christ's sake like how i still talk about the knicks being the second seed in 2013 dirk and uh manu were second seed speaking of second seeds the two quote unquote well the new york and new jersey team because they used to be new york but whatever i moved them back to new jersey the pistons led by rajon rondo and brandon roy the third seed of course cavaliers looking to maybe make it back to the finals this year they didn't make it last year no the heat celtics with chris paul who i would assume was just kind of chill i didn't even see him on all nba team oh no it's still 26 and 11 that's definitely chris paul Pablo cephalosha carl raptors Melo still looking for some if you want some i would not be mad obviously the bullets led by greg sims eric gordon rudy gobert jj hickson and and what oh okay well, they have markel off the bench too but he didn't even do that much 76ers definitely got worse without steph curry but i mean pal gasol exists so wow yeah yeah he, he played pretty well milwaukee i feel like you were supposed to be really good after you added zach randolph but it really hasn't much hasn't changed gilbert's still playing incredible too any but wow every team in the east had 30 wins that's crazy phoenix that went 22 and 60 though they were the worst team in the league led by uh clay thompson and in the west the timberwolves were the best team jamal murray gordon hayward hekovich at the four that or no I th he's at the five he's at the five miritich what i don't even know they have so many centers and jordan clarkson existing portland lebron is lebron that'd be cool if you get yourself a ring too back to you know what i mean the championship thing lakers are the lakers another 50 win team is the nuggets with jeff teague christos porzingis Tyson chandler off the bench 
still an 89 overall and Al Horford and Zach Levine off the bench. Seattle now with a uh, wow, Ben Simmons off the bench and Giannis Harden, Al Jefferson, Andrew Wiggins. That team is really good. Kevin Durant's team is still just Kevin Durant's team being kind of okay. Vancouver's okay. Sacramento, are you the eight seed again? Oh my God, what is wrong with you guys? Why do you keep doing this to yourselves and winning? Real quick, that's it for the team. You know what I mean? Thing, but uh, points leaders Roy, Durant, LeBron, Curry, Telf there. Rebounds, it's Gasol, Jordan, is Randolph, Whiteside, and Towns, and assists Rondo, Wall, Westbrook, Paul, and Harris. Let's simulate the hell out of this. Okay, for Portland's out of here while wow, LeBron lost 4 0 that fast to KD, too. The Raptors are out of here. They lose 4 to 1. Cavaliers are out of here. That's kind of crazy because it's a set, but it is uh, the Cavaliers lost to Chris Paul and Cat, though. Bullets are out of here. Philadelphia's out of here, so my Knicks did not lose first round. Sacramento, I missed one team. Grizzlies, okay. Really not many upsets except for KD 4 0 sweeping Braun with the help of Eric Bledsoe. Average 38. Forget the help. Oh my God, he was better. And LeBron averaged also, I mean, actually only 32, but eh, still 45 in this last game. But yeah, you got 4 0 sweat, big dog. The team isn't great, though. I will give you that. You had Eric Bledsoe, you might have won. You would have won this series. Actually, I don't, it was 4 0, though. So KD, yeah, I mean, he's pretty good. Sacramento did not upset this time around. And uh, Boston beats Cleveland. Like I said, though, Victor had 49. And, uh, Markeith Morris had 29. But uh, Chris Paul and Towns. Yeah, how are you going to do about that? And will my Knicks be able to beat them? Let's see. They won game one. Uh, uh, game two. Oh, hold on. Ah, uh, 3 1. What? What am I Knicks doing? Oh, man. They got him out of here real quick. Five games. D'Angelo, 48 and 17, averaging 36 a game in the playoffs. What? D'Angelo, I love you. What are you doing? I love you. What are you doing? Sounds like a confused relationship statement. Statement Like when uh, Walter White's wife found out he, he was selling the, you know I mean? Remember the way Walter White's son would just vigorously eat cereal every single day? Uh, Mavericks are out of here. Timberwolves are out of here. And the Nets are out of here again to the Pistons. Brandon Roy. Okay, you know what? I won't even be mad if my Knicks lose to you. I just said I wanted to see you kind of dominate. It's Brandon Roy and Knicks former man Rondo. Who would still probably be a good player on this team. You know, uh, it would have been cool. I can't believe D'Angelo and the Knicks are still playing this well, honestly. I really thought it was something to do with Kevin Love leaving, but Otto Porter's giving him 16 a game and Monroe is still good somehow. Remember they were supposed to sign Greg Monroe some years ago. Thankfully, they didn't because, well, I don't know what they actually... They signed Robin Lopez and said, and then they traded him for Derrick Rose, I think. Now they traded for Derrick Rose again. He's really good. That's cool. Tyreek's still around too for, hell, I don't know, like 10 years now. That's nine years pro. And on the other side of things, the Lakers, Sebastian Telfair is still in. I don't even know who the hell... Nuggets is Porzingis, Horford, Joe Johnson, Levine, and Teague against Sebastian, Bosch, and Whiteside. We'll see if they get revenge this year. Obviously, the Heat... Wait, whoa. The Heat didn't make the playoffs? What? What the hell happened to Miami? Oh my God. I said, yo, the, I, did you, do you remember when I said, yo, the, every team in the East still had 30 wins or whatever? This Miami team fell off a cliff. They still got BJ Myers too, but they don't play him enough though. They should play him more because that man was bodying in the finals. But oh my God, what the hell? They were the worst team in the conference after winning the championship. Lowry, PG, what is going on? Lowry kind of fell off too. JJ was still here. Walt Barkley was still here. Alex Len, new team. Okay, but uh, I don't know who their old center was. I can't remember. I don't think he was that significant though. Oh my God. He definitely wasn't. For them to not make the playoffs, dog. Okay. Knicks up to. Are they really going to? Okay. 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 Pistons said, hell no. They're, they're not going to do it. Come on, you bastards. Come back. Oh, yeah. It's over now. Pistons won. Pistons won. Credit where credit is due, though. Brandon Roy, get that championship, big dog. He actually put it on his resume this time. And uh, the Nuggets lose to the. Whoa, whoa. I'm such an idiot. I guess this helps for the sake of time, but I click start to get to the finals. It's Sebastian Telfair won finals MVP. And I didn't even look at his stats. I'm going to look now, though. How's the Lakers, though? Hold on. I was I was doubting the hell out of you. I thought Brandon Roy was going to get, uh, get you the hell up and out of here. I just simulate the hell out of the i'm such an idiot when i see this final stat sebastian tell for 35 and 10 in the finals i'd be pissed if there was any close games though that i could have jumped into if there was none i could have jumped into i won't be mad 32 and 10 or 32 and 9 from uh, roy in the finals rondo obviously couldn't really hold sebastian Telfair, i guess and clint capella can grab rebounds or whatever but uh, for the sake of time i mean it, it helps me out here that i just randomly accidentally simulated through the entire thing here a little bit different than, than current gen or whatever yeah next gen in terms of some of these controls here but nonetheless i won't blame it on that um Telfair 40 okay game one they won by 10 game two was a three-point game that's that's okay that's okay Wait, 37 tell fair game three was a blowout game four was an ot game win by one point by the pistons uh they did lose the series anyways though but yeah Tell fair 38 and roy had 36 which is back and forth between those two every other game though was pretty lopsided it was a four to two series win by the los angeles lakers to win another championship though to be fair good for them to i mean uh, uh, help their team's history out because of the fact that well uh, you know kind of lost like seven rings eight Eight rings, 10 rings. I don't know from Kobe, Shaq, Magic, and Kareem. Karolinko retires with quote unquote 27 years pro. We don't talk about it. Ron Artest retires, never changed his name to Meta in here, but uh, there you go, Ron. Then again, he tried to change the name to Panda's friend, anyways. And yeah, don't mind my voice cracking. You know, I've kind of been recording a video for the past week. Series, though, it's going to be a series. It's going to be a series. I already, I figured it out.
it out. But uh, yeah, Michael Red is out of here. I'm actually, I'm gonna definitely gonna get this man's card in my team. I'm actually, yeah, I'm kind of embodying my team unlimited. You know what I'm saying? Get a JR Smith card too, maybe. Hey, whatever. I'm posting some stuff on my second channel, my team. But uh, why am I telling you my plans? I'm gonna shut up. Probably never post my team. Radoslav Sebic, Hito Turkoglu, Hot. Whoa, Hito. One time champion, six time All Star, one time second team, three time third team. Yeah, I guess you did earn it. If you earned it, then okay, hold on. Not per 36 minutes. There you go. Okay, yeah, never mind. You did. No, you were bodying the league. You were definitely bodying the league. Can't take that away from you. And he had his jersey retirement with the Washington Bullets. So this is a 28. This is a Luka Doncic lottery, I guess, or whoever the hell goes first. Oh, the Knicks. Did they steal a pick? Oh, they stole one from Indiana. It's probably protected, though. It's probably protected. Yeah, it went back to Indiana, but it's cool. Rockets, Suns, Jazz, Bucks, Heat. Okay. Let me look through the draft real quick. De DeAndre Aiden still goes number one. Uh, Michael Porter Jr. goes second to the Sun. And third is Luka to go join De um, Donovan Mitchell on the Jazz. So they have those two guys. Ceiling Hall of Fame, Bucks, Shea. Um, aside from the Supersonics, who haven't really made too much noise just yet, but they are a very good team. I got to see who they drafted this year, too. If they did draft anybody, actually, I don't really... They, they probably... They were actually in the playoffs. So they traded their pick, actually. So, yeah, yeah. So, their team is probably pretty set in stone. Bucks got Shea. Heat got Trey. Whoa, whoa. So, now that he have Trey and Lowry, which is kind of weird, and Paul George, but hey, you'll figure it out. And I don't know if you will, actually, now that you won the championship and then became trash. Kind of trash. Jaron Jackson, Bridges. You get it. I just... We just recognize all these guys because they're all new guys, and they're obviously all in the game. How did Mitch Robinson go 21st? I don't know. He'll join Kevin Durant. Plus, I feel like KD's contract might be coming to an end, too, though. Melo's contract comes... He's only 33 still. 96 overall, Carmelo Anthony. And John Wall, contract over. Pau Gasol, contract... Oh, yeah, he's going to sign a bunch of one-year deals, probably. 91 million expected. Jesus Christ, look at the contract. Harden, Brewer, Embiid's restricted. Ginobili, Monroe. Please don't leave the Knicks after that run. Yo, with Arenas. Yo, can we get you an an another ring, right? Or whatever. I don't remember how that worked, honestly. I already forget what that... I, I'm now, now I've confused myself to what the hell you did. Dirk, you still might want to... Dirk's cool, you know what I mean? You, Timmy, you, you guys could all got rings. Do what you got to do. Melo is a Raptor for life, I guess. He stays there. Oh my God, James Harden is going to New York. Oh boy. I'm going to assume... Oh, they kept Greg Monroe too? No, there has to be a catch to this. Oh, they're going to be so... They have to be so good, right? D'Angelo, Harden, Noah, Monroe, Porter, what? Okay, no, this isn't even me being a Knicks fan now. They have Har Harden. Harden decided to leave the Supersonics. Wasn't he like restricted or something? No, he wasn't actually. No, he was not. John Wall is going to join the Clippers. Let's see who's on the Clippers. I don't even remember. DeAndre, DeRozan, Tatum. DeRozan goes back to LA. You know what I mean? Tatum, the young, nice little rookie over there, or second year player. Okay, um, cool team over here. Nothing. I mean, like they haven't, I don't, I wouldn't be too excited about the Knicks supporting cast if they didn't do anything somehow last season, but like this team hasn't done, you get it. Like, I don't know how the hell I'm rationalizing my Knicks bias, even though well, I'm not really biased to be fair. Yeah, you, you, people always tell me, oh, you're a good Knicks fan. First of all, most, shout out to my Knicks fan. Every team has awful fans and good fans. It's kind of how life works. Probably a metaphor for a lot of things. And uh, Augusto actually stood with the 76ers. I guess he likes that team. Nobly stood with the Nets. Like I said Monroe stood. Oh, Gilbert Arenas goes to the Nets and Dirk's still there. Okay, that's actually pretty big time. Gilbert, Manu, we finally got the old man big three that I wanted with uh, with uh, Timmy, but this one actually might be better because Gilbert's been God his entire career. He averaged 30 last year. So he might get a Knicks and Nets type of finals. How did Wiggins get out of Seattle too? What the hell? He's actually pretty good too. He goes to the Bullets. Okay, the Knicks did lose Tyreek, but you know, he kind of got James Harden instead, who I think was in the same draft, right? Andre Iguodala also goes to the Nets, although you haven't really been, uh, you've actually been pretty solid. Joe Johnson, you've been traded all the, all the way the hell over the place, but you're going to stay with Denver now for three years, or maybe you'll get traded again. I don't know. And oh, hey, Jeremy Lin, how are you? You go to the Trailblazers, but uh, yeah, aside from that, nothing really too crazy. That's a mellow for being loyal though. All right, 2018, 2019. I said I'd be going going until i think 2020 might even extend it just because this is fun but like genuinely just I, I'm, I'm too engulfed at this point it's kind of fun. it's like halfway fun halfway grueling but the fun overrides it's like so it's like 51 49 you know what i mean i don't look forward to doing this and wasting a lot of hours on this but then it, when i once i get into it it kind of it's honestly it applies the same to most videos like i don't really look forward to it and then all of a sudden oh yeah no it's actually kind of interesting and a lot of people definitely look forward to these things because they're cool and edited and stuff as well so i definitely it definitely pays off which i that reminds me of to edit this video which i'm definitely not looking forward to all Anthony Towns two time starter I think actually I think he was a, yeah he was a starter last year too right Giannis three time all star and one time starter I think he's one time starter I'm just assuming but uh yeah I read but no one time all stars though Westbrook Curry Durant right the Spurs what did the Spurs do last year I don't even remember CP3 and Towns are both in the MVP race though Shea of the Bucks going crazy he Schroeder oh Luca trying to win six man of the year hold on what did they do to this man oh uh how is Clay Thompson got traded there um oh okay i'm just gonna make donovan a slash point
point guard and then make a Luca should probably be cooled after that. But yet, yeah, what the hell? Rudy's also good too. So Luca still might not start. I mean, Clay's team was pretty bad. Amari got traded for Yao. The two in real life, I think the two top picks or maybe not actually, I don't know. 2001. So that's ironic or coincidental or existing or whatever. DeAndre Jordan got traded for Zach Randolph. We'll see if he could, if he could do, do more over there. And what the hell? Clay got traded for Donnie Bradley and Lloyd Geiger. That is a steal. Although Clay actually isn't even doing that much this year. Was doing a lot that one year though when I think he won most improved player. And look at the Spurs. Ooh, Knicks, Celtic. Yeah, Chris Ball's team is obviously going crazy with Jonathan Isaac also there to play a bunch of defense. Knicks are indeed doing well with the addition of James Harden, although it's even more no defense. But you got Noah to just hold down everybody's defense basically because that's really, I mean, yeah. And they got Tim Hardaway Jr. again who's averaging, wow, 16 points. And Clarkson, hold on. You guys added, a, they got BJ Myers too. Okay. And look at that. They're actually not giving BJ Myers the role he needs, but it's all good. Cavs are still the Cavs. Okay, let me uh, let me continue simulating though. But those are actually the three best three teams in the league record wise or whatever. Stephen Curry, the 2019 most viable player, 36 and 12 a game from him. DeAndre Aiden wins rookie of the year. Is he on the Suns again? No, he's on the Rockets. Schroeder, six man of the year. D. Schroeder, Joakim Noah, DPOY. How many of these does he have? He, he's got to be up there with like real life Ben Wallace type of numbers, like five of them. Uh, he's got three. He's got three. That's yeah. I knew he won it a couple of times. I might have over uh, overthought it though. Uh, most improved Ben Simmons, 31 rookie of the year too, with similar numbers, but you know, uh, whatever. Corey Elliott, coach of the year, all NBA first team, Curry, Westbrook, Durant, LeBron, and Powell. Obviously, D Rose going up against a bunch of uh, up against a bunch of guards to get the all NBA first team, but Powell makes it instead of him though, as he gets 22 and 21 a game, which is really, really crazy. Bash and Telfair, Brandon Roy, Carmelo, Kawhi, and Demarcus, second team and third team, Rose, Arenas, Antetokounmpo, Simmons, and Jokic. Matter of fact, yeah, so let's check real quick. Curry led in points, followed by Durant, Roy, Irving, and Arenas. Rebounds was Gasol, Noah, Monroe. Wow, the two teammates. Then uh, Randolph and Embiid. Uh, more importantly, wow, uh, Gasol, 21, which is crazy. I don't know who the hell was missing so many shots on that team. He actually averaged six offensive game as well, but I mean, I, I guess he was just dominant. Plays a lot of minutes and all that stuff, too. Yeah, Westbrook, Curry, Paul, Rondo, and Lowry in assists. I don't know if I already said that. I, I already forgot. George Hill. Wow, I think you actually led in 3 one percentage of last year in real life, so not too far off. The Celtics were the best team in the league, unsurprisingly. Yet, well, I mean, you, know, you never know what the hell's going to happen, but Chris Paul and Cat, two all-NBA players, they actually have Siakam off the bench with Boozer starting. 36-year-old Carlos Boozer. He's kind of figured out his NBA role. Miami is back to being good. They're in the playoffs with the, basically the exact same team, except Trey Young in his rookie year averaged 20. So that definitely helps a lot. A lot, a lot, I, I shall say, as Lowry is still kind of just chilling at, for some reason. They have this man Ty Lawson off the bench too. What the hell? And he has a cyber face or something. I don't I don't know if he's in the game. I have no clue. The Bucks. So the Bucks lost Gilbert, but they picked up Shea, Tyreek, DeAndre. We already know what DeAndre is going to average. A couple of rebounds, a couple of points. And uh, Wendell Carter. And they are now the fifth seed in the conference with this very young team. That is really weird. Was Gilbert the problem? Matter of fact, was Gilbert the problem? Because look at New Jersey. Gilbert Arenas 31 and 9 a game. Manu 24, Dirk 22. And they missed the playoffs. I thought it was going to be Knicks and Nets at the top of the conference and maybe Celtics and Cleveland. Markel Fultz's Washington Bullets, him and Andrew Wiggins. Ironically, uh, two bust number one overall picks, although Wiggins has been figuring out. And actually, Markel has too, but he got injured. Him and honestly, either one has been, I mean, Markel, it was so early where he was injured most of his career already. But Wiggins was never really like awful. All, like, well, he was bad, but like he he still got buckets though. Hey, give me your buckets. His team's was trash though. So, I mean, I could see why, you know what I mean? You're like, okay, Andrew, your teams have been trash for seven years. You haven't improved in wins like once, except for when Jimmy Butler came around. What's the deal here? But then again, it was Minnesota. So like, you know I mean? Now he's on Golden State and they're really good and whatever. Westbrook just barely makes the playoffs and so did Brandon Roy actually, even though, you know I mean? He, they were just in the final. Frank Nilakina led, which actually isn't even a stretch. What the hell? Frank nine points on bad shooting percentage. We won't talk about it. Oh wait, Eric Green, 95 overall Eric Green. What the hell? Even this man obviously does not have a face scan or a cyber face or anything like that. I'm drawing a blank on if this person is even real or not. Eric Green, I feel like I've heard the name before, but I'm, I feel like I'm also tripping. I think he was on the Lakers, if I'm not mistaken, for like a half a second or something. Or was he on Miami? And that's what I'm forgetting that like, that's why they fell off. I don't know. Actually, wait, it says it right here. I'm an idiot. He was on Cleveland, but I don't, he wasn't even that good, but now he's really, he's a 95. He's only averages 19. And then you got Ingram and Jabari who averages 23 miles turn who averages 17, Gary Harris, Tyson Robin, and they're pretty good. Or, well, they're 39 wins. So actually it's not even that good. It's just surprised to see him in the playoffs led by Frank and Lakina. Uh, Kyrie Irving, CJ McCollum and Roy Hibbert, Dennis Mc Jr. And Porzingis. That's funny. Xavier Henry, the Nuggets, 44 wins. Portland, LeBron and Kyle Kuzma with nobody else. What the hell? Why does Jeremy Lin have Stephen Curry's player card 
different thing. He's definitely not playing like Steph. He's actually playing pretty good, though. Mike Conley's just been Mike Conley in his way to mediocrity this entire time. He's been good, but like him and Braun haven't went like ever since he Braun did the trade off where he lost Ken Johnson for Mike Conley. It's been downhill ever since. D Wade and Tony, they're finally actually regressing, but I mean, they're still good. Bastion, Drew, Chris Bosch, and Whiteside are uh, 48 wins, third in the conference. Then you got Steph, OG, Bargnani, and Embiid. My God, that big three is crazy. And then the Mavericks, KD was the number one seed with uh, my guy, uh, Eric Bledsoe. Melo missed the playoffs. Only we would have left that team sometime. Phoenix had 16 wins. Lonzo Ball, LaMarcus, Michael Porter. You're not even that bad. You should have more than 16 wins. Look at Amari with his uh, retro Phoenix thing because he got traded there. Did Amari and Yao get traded for each other back to back years or am I tripping? No, yeah, I'm tripping. I'm definitely tripping, right? Just simulate before I lose my mind. Orlando's out of here. Bullets are out of here. Miami's out of here. I think my Knicks are about to lose, but we're not going to talk about it. Yeah, they lost. They lost two to four to the Detroit Pistons. So uh, Brandon Roy actually beat them again back to back years, even though he was the seventh seed this year. Dallas out of here. Okay, a lot of uh, wow. Dallas loses to the eight seeded Jabbar. Wow. Okay, so I thought I was over analyzing this team that had 39 wins, but no. The Frank Nilakina, Jabari Parker, Eric Green led team beat Kevin Durant and Eric Bledsoe. Sacramento actually gets upsetted for the first time. LeBron finally beats D Wade in the playoffs with Jeremy Lin by his side. LA loses to Denver. Hellfair, Whiteside, and them. They lost to Porzingis and Jeff Teague, I guess. Miami loses to Milwaukee. So, wow. Wendo Carter and Shea. That's all you need to know. That team is somehow really good. Okay, let's simulate more. And wait, wait, wait. One more. I, I can't be by. I forgot, though. I already mentioned it that the Knicks, uh, yeah, they lost. Harden, Russell. Oh, maybe it's just a little bit too much firepower, you know? Because Harden shot eight for 24 in game six, and Russell shot four for 16, and Otto Porter shot two for. Okay, Otto, you could sit on the bench. Why are they even playing you? I'm kidding, because he actually wasn't that bad. But I mean, he was bad in this game, though, and we kind of needed you to be good. That kind of happens in the NBA sometimes, though. Simulate this round. Boston beats Milwaukee. They're my pick for the finals, I would assume. As, uh, okay. A bunch of game seven. San Antonio, Bargnani, Curry, and Embiid. Actually, I can't rule them out. They're insane, probably. What is Embiid averaging now? Because he wasn't really. Okay, yeah, he's scoring, scoring now. I mean, a game is pretty solid for on, on a team like that. Portland and Golden State is the Franny Lakina led team about to beat LeBron James. Don't tell me. Okay, Cleveland beats Detroit. So that's not too surprising because 165 to 137. Oh my God, Kemba Walker. What do you, what did you put in this team cereal? And LeBron James loses to Gary Harris, Eric Green, Jabari Parker, Mile. I don't even believe that. And Frank, of course, the Frank impact is un unbeknown. So it doesn't even make sense, honestly. It like sounds like it makes sense, but it doesn't. Chris Paul, Carl up against the team that somehow ends up being incredible. But Kemba Walker is basically like a 96 at this point, mentally or something. And Eric Green, who still doesn't have a cyber face, so hopefully I don't have to jump into a game with him as a, against Andre Bargnani and beat and Curry. They're going to beat another team. Oh my God, they're up 2 1 3 1 Warriors. What is wrong with you? They're about to win. Frank Nilakina had 18 points in the final game. Frank, I love you. I'm not changing Eric Green's. If we get into a game with Eric Green, he's going to be invisible giving people buckets at a 95 overall because I'm not giving that man a cyber. I don't feel like loading up the thing to do modding and all that stuff. If you like click edit player on any of those guys, it just instantly crashes the game. So you have to mod it to like fix that. Like, I can't just like, oh, load in. Hell, I don't even know. It makes sense though, as uh, the Celtics and Cavs, uh, it looks like the Cavs are about to win. Celtics are trying to hold on, but no, Cavs said, hell no. Yeah, sorry, Chris Paul, 40 points. Sorry to the two all NBA players. We got JT Gardner, whoever the hell this is. The Cavs just figure out. They're like the Spurs of this league. They get a bunch of random talents. Doesn't matter if they're foreign or American or whatever, it, they just exist. Now we have one of the weirdest yet greatest finals ever with Kemba Walker, Oladipo. This is what the 40, 50, 70 years of simulating or whatever it's been. We're in 62. This is what the 42 years of simulating has brought us to. The Cavaliers versus the Golden State Warriors in the finals, which ironically was a very common finals, except it's very, very uncommon players now. Uh, it, it should have been very much more. You get it. In words. Cavs, can you score so I could jump in? Okay, no, you didn't score. Great, you lost. Neela Kina posted a career high 12 assists. The Warriors are lucky to have such a great player. Hashtag count your blessings. What have I been saying? Brandon Ingram, 31. Miles Turner, 27 and 14. Parker, 20. Eric Green, 18 and 10. And the worst Frank, two points, 12 assists. That's all you need from him. And the defense, come on now. He's gonna lock, is he gonna lock up Kemba? I didn't even see what Kemba did last game, but is, can, can Frank Neela Kina be the first person ever to lock up Kemba? Because if Kemba don't drop like 40 in the series ever, then Frank locked him up. Let's see. Oh my God. 12 points on four for 13 from Kemba. Last game he had 20, but 12 on four for 13 and two for eight from Isaiah Thomas. This man, Frank, had every single player in a torture chamber. Oladipo, though, he can get buckets. He's at the two guards. I don't know who's guarding him. Who's guarding him? Eric Green, he doesn't even exist. They're literally guarded by an invisible man. Obviously, you're going to score. Next game, the Warriors, the eight seeded Warriors are going to win again. Parker, 29. Nilakina, 19 and 17.
7, this somehow feels more successful, more succeeding, more relieving, more rehabilitating, more dopamine infusing than any Knicks championship somehow. As, as Kemba shot 7 for 18, which isn't awful, but he only had 19 points. Oladipo, 5 for 15. Oh, they switched Frank onto him this game. That's what they told me. Oh, my inside sources just talked to me. Okay, great. Cavaliers, they're probably going to win this game because that's just kind of, I have a feeling, yeah, yeah, they got it. They got it. Okay, uh, but Kemba still only had 19 on 6 for 15. So this man, Frank, really is just locking this man up. But nonetheless, yeah, uh, 3 to 1 now for the Warriors. And they close it out. They are going to do it. The Golden State Warriors, led by Frank Nilakina, Jabari Parker. Hold on one second. Martel Webster shouts to you at 33. Kemba, 16 on 6 for 15 again. This is the same man who was putting up. I mean, he only averaged 20 in this playoff run, but he used to, I mean, he averaged 24 in the season. 28, 30, 30. Like, dog, I don't care. If you're in the finals, Kemba Walk, you better pick it up. No, you can't pick it up when you got it by Frank Nilakina. Eric Green, 44. Well, yeah, you kind of can't see him. 21 and 10 a game. 10 rebounds a game from a shooting guard? What the hell? What is this? Josh Hart? Ingram, 27 and 6. Miles Turner, 25 and 8. Parker, 11 and 10 with 5 assists on 515 shooting. Nilakina, 6 and 11. And the Golden State Warriors win the championship. Eric Green, obviously the finals MVP. I didn't even, honestly, I really wasn't even focused on anything you did, but I guess you're good. You didn't have a face. I gotta see if you exist. Hold on. Eric Green is an American. Let me look it up on the computer just to show you guys because, yes, this man, Eric Green, most certainly exists. And I knew, I had a feeling. Drafted in 2013, round two, pick 46. So he's supposed, well, that, that makes sense. He has to exist because he's supposed to have a cyber face, but I don't have the cyber face. So, uh, yeah. He's a top scorer in the nation at 25 points per game. Oh, yeah. But this, this universe, he just ended up bugging out instead of falling off. I just looked at him in the NBA. Yeah, he actually did absolutely nothing. But actually, though, that makes it a little bit cooler, though, that he was the leading scorer in college. So it's like if, I don't know, anybody who led the scoring, the nation in scoring in college actually, like, you know, because most of those guys end up being like, like guys who are in like their third third or fourth year of college and end up not really doing too much in the actual NBA. Like, I think one that comes to mind that actually is really pretty so solid, though, was Buddy Heald. He was a crazy scorer in college, and then he, yeah, I mean, and he was in the fourth year of college, too. I've seen people joking that uh, LeBron James was the same age as Buddy Heald. I definitely joined in on, on those jokes. He, he, yeah, he's already like 28 or 29 or something. Maybe not. I, mean, I might be dragging it. Dirk is going to retire after, I guess, 20 years pro. Career high of 64 points. Wow, one-time MVP, which was in the year that he joined T-Mac. He actually had a pretty cool career. I can't even lie. You had a pretty cool career regardless. He was with Dallas at first and then somehow got out of there and won the MVP in his first year, averaging 38 points. Like, Timmy had a really boring career for the most part. And I can't even... Yeah, so did Kobe and Timmy had pretty boring careers. But Dirk had a little cool... He had his MVP, at least. And of course, he's going to Hall of Fame like how everybody else I just named will, will as well. But uh, then Manu, I mean, you were much better in this career than you were in your actual career. So, I mean, that's at least cool. But, I mean, you won three or four rings in real life. I can't remember, remember how many Spurs teams you were with. But, uh, yeah, you uh, instead, you you were a lot better, but a lot less wins and rings and stuff. And, wow, you really good at defense, too. I wonder if this man had a 79 shot tendency the whole time. Because that's kind of frightening if he did. And he was averaging this many points his entire career. Was very efficient for the entire... He, this man was shooting 55%. So, maybe he really did have... I don't know. You don't... I don't know. Anybody else? Darko retired. This man was still in the league. Oh, my God. Zero shot tendency? Jesus Christ. And a no confidence. Dirk and Manu, the two teammates as they retire Hall of Fame. So, uh, yeah, New Jersey. Gilbert is yet again alone. Gilbert has been alone in this a plethora of time. Dirk is his number 41 retired with the Golden State Warriors. Who the hell else is going to wear 41 anyways? Who else has one wore 41 before? Who have I seen? Who the hell cares? So, look, this is the 2019 lottery. So, yeah, I'm deciding right now. I will go to 2021. That is where we are in real life. I will surpass where we are in real life right here, right now. Go further into the future by a few months, and then that will be it for this series. 100%. This is going to be a series. This can't be one video. It would be 24 hours. And not mean to actually, yeah, we can jump into the lottery. That's fine. Nick stole another pick from the Pacers. How, what kind of finesse went on there? Hey, you guys want to draft Zion or some? Uh, okay. Jack. Whoa, hold on. Jazz. Jazz already have Luca, Donovan, Clay, and someone else that I, Rudy. Cavs take a pick from Houston. Whoa, Cavs. Oh my God. They're about to add another incredible player into their city. If they add RJ, that's like the most perfect player ever just to add into like a system that like, okay, you give basketball players points. Or DeAndre Hunter. That works too. But actually genuinely, yeah, that works pretty well. The Jazz gets Zion with Luca, Clay, and Donovan. They're doing they're they're doing their Seattle thing that Seattle did. Oh wow, the Hawks also. Oh, I'm thinking of DeAndre Hunter's old team. I'm just tripping. But the Hawks got RJ Barrett. Ja Morant goes to the Bulls. The Nets get Darius Garland. They I did they trade their pick? Cause they, oh no, right. They were just okay. They got Hero and Darius Garland. That's not awful. It's pretty good, actually. It's a pretty solid turnaround. Admiral Showfield, the god. Carl is restricted. There's no way he leaves. Eric Green is unrestricted. Oh boy. He's gonna earn himself a payday, regardless of where hey, yo, Eric Green, just get your payday, big dog. Hold on, Zach Randolph. Then it's oh my god. 
god i seem idiot such an idiot I gotta, I gotta scroll through there was too many big time signings wow i'm feel so stupid it just goes too fast in this godforsaken thing celtics signed carl towns i don't know why it doesn't say re-sign but yeah that's a re-signing and miles turner as well knicks re-signed joakim noah hornets re-signed cousins warriors re-signed eric green to five year 530 million dollar deal so joakim got 380 million dollar deal and then eric green five yeah that just shows you the difference and whatever the hell nuggets signed porzingis was he already on the i feel like he was why was andre Robertson in the oh that's from april okay and andre even in this even in this league he's over here just getting weird deals devin booker re-signs with the pacers i forgot you even existed sergi baka gets 130 million which is like a minimum in this league bulls signed clay thompson he leaves leaves the jazz so now they have just uh well you know donovan luca and zion still no you did not just take the pistons took d'angelo russell after they already took rondo okay harden harden you have a lot on your shoulders now this man d'angelo left my team and the pistons took rudy from uh whatever the wait wait was he already rudy was also on the jazz they took rudy too Jazz said full rebuild mode but why did the pistons taking everybody bill sad to the timberwolves rocket signed demar bull bull signs to the cavaliers i guess he didn't get drafted oh my god bull bull and the cavaliers is frightening Pistons somehow also re-signed rajan why couldn't the knicks then go and re-sign kevin love or something there's so many signings jesus christ jazz signed nicholas batum raptors re-signed vucevic i didn't even know you had vucevic i feel like i forgot that no he's been here like the entire time nick signed jalen horde okay so that's your okay lou dort goes to the trailblazers leguence himself chris clemens okay now we're getting into irrelevancy okay okay Are you telling me my team can we see the pistons in a second too but my team okay so a uh, harden you have a lot yeah like i said i mean you still have 390 overall to be fair Harden, it's gonna be a lot of uh, work for you and i'll make you a slash point guard so you might you might have to start there because you know it doesn't look like you guys have one. Oh, you drafted kobe white what the hell why did i skip over that okay i mean that's cool so you guys really wanted to move on from d'angelo to kobe white that's like backwards very backwards how has Kawhi not won a championship yet or anything like that well john wall did leave him let me acknowledge how frank nilakina got a ring before most of his or if, or if not all of his draft class it's just the impact right there there's 399 overall players paul westbrook and lebron listed updates in like 10 seconds when i simulate past the player progression donovan luca and zion is gonna be crazy zion will probably win rookie of the year now and right the pistons they now have they stole rondo and russell the the, the two guys i wanted on the knicks then again they did kind of get hard in any way pello rudy and brandon roy they're all that's gonna be frightening actually very fright you had brandon roy and d'angelo he's gonna have the bench for god's sake so this is the second to last season according to me because uh 2019 2020 i honestly planned on going and ending just right here eventually but i'm gonna go two more call it a day call it a week call it a year call it a closure kind of weird when you conduct your own like you know what i mean like i conducted like i could have ended this 20 years ago if it felt like it I didn't mean to skip past the all-stars just 12 seconds ago let me let me see what the hell just happened all-star team andrea bargnani and chris paul the captains i love it harden's, harden's only a two he's the least all-star tenured guy in this entire thing that's kind of weird was his last year's first all-star appearance that's really weird or did he even make it chris paul looking to get his mvp things back kd's here curry and b b finally coming into his own zion oh my look at bo bo oh bo bo still playing like this on pc oh my god rj barrett kobe white has to start now i think so yeah they got bo bo and deandre hunter giving him buckets but we already know Giannis go i mean not Giannis, zion going rookie of the year they got rondo off the bench which is just unfair luca going most approved player because he was he was off the bench last year oh my nick's still so good but the celtics have less than 10 losses like dog chris paul is just that guy how many years have been since lebron won a ring like 15 then won three three of them or four of them so early and has not won nothing since and the cavaliers are actually kind of struggling right now that's kind of tough chris paul mvp yet again didn't he win it last year too no but uh he has four now he is the new he is magic johnson did not do that much steph curry obviously didn't who else was incredible at point guard because i feel like is chris paul is he the best point guard ever now but he needs a ring though just like in real life who else in the simulation was incredible at point guard i can't even remember i just remember bernard king bodying the league Brooke lopez six man rudy gobert luka Doncic, Corey elliott nba first is cp3 westbrook durant andrea and mb second team is curry irving lebron Giannis, and cousins third team is arenas wade Ka Kawhi, ben and uh Hassan. Pretty sure Ben with 29 and 6 and Giannis with 26, 8 and 5. Like they play like almost the exact same way in this simulation. Giannis shoots 55% from three. Oh, but he only takes 60. That makes sense. And Ben actually takes 40. Wow, look at the confidence. Eric Green's that good at defense, too. This man's really a, a demon out here. As his Warriors finished third this year, but uh first and foremost. Season stats, points leaders was Durant, Paul, Irving, James, and Arenas. Rebounds is Noah, Whiteside, and Bede, Randolph, and Monroe. And assists is Westbrook, Paul, Curry, Ball, and Rose. Look at Lonzo up here now. Yo, we gotta give love to 
Tyson Chandler. He's been just just Tyson Chandlering for dumb long. It's almost been 20 years. This man's still the exact same. Eric Green led in three point percentage too. This man is an ins this man is a beast. Don't even need a face. The faceless man. That's a mellow too out here. I know I gotta shout out mellow, but uh, I don't even know if they made the playoffs. Did they? I, I no. Bobo is the starting center for the Cavaliers. That is nuts. They really saw the vision too. Like that is crazy. Like they really like whoever the hell was their center. They said nah, you can walk with it. But then again, they also weren't that good. Milwaukee cracked 50 wins, so they were the second team in this. Uh, obviously, like I said, Boston is Boston. Chris Paul MVP. They won 67 games. That might be the highest win total I've seen since like I don't even know. The really early days. It's been very very even ever since, which is honestly I guess it's good to have parity in the league. You know, I haven't really yeah I haven't really valued that much in, in this league like in this simulation. We haven't really had a team. The only the most dominant thing was Bernard King literally just being Bernard King and then Clyde and Larry Bird. And aside from that, I think that's it. I don't think there was any other three peats or nothing. I didn't Larry Bird was just stupid though. Like that was crazy. Whoa, the Knicks traded for Isaiah Thomas and CJ McCollum. They made moves. They moved um, which is actually smart. They decided to move forgetting his name, Greg Monroe. Well, they do they always do so many trades. I guess a, I guess a ton of teams too, as Mar Yao Ming was traded for Markeith Moore. Yao Ming is still in the league in 2020. That's the that's the where we live in. I'm pretty sure Yao, yeah. I mean, obviously, Yao must only be like 40 years old or something. They traded Tim Hardaway Jr. for Isaiah Thomas, so that's cool, I guess. I'll trust their process or whatever their their process of thoughts at least so you know i say everything is so weird i could have just said thought process who else are they where is the where is the cj mccall oh greg monroe for cj i already knew what i, I, I just want to make sure i think that's like the only big trades that even happened in the season jr smith for iguodala wow the raptors finally got rid of this man but i mean not that they really had to but i mean they did marco fultz and wiggins leading their team to the fourth seed in the east miami still good with trey young off the bench i want to see what he's averaging actually 19 actually even less russell westbrook's teams are still i don't know him and blake griffin are existing basically hornets or hornets uh demarcus is still fake kareem abdul jabbar like they said at his draft thing and ronnie brewer is still ronnie brewer they have dante exum starting that's kind of that's actually really weird and laurie Markin is actually uh pretty good atlanta oh wow rj barrett already 82 overall 15 points per game come on now oh wait wait did they trade oh, wait did they trade wait what 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 all oh, right that was me bugging out that was me i i remember when i like preconceived i just thought that they were going to draft rj and then they didn't the Cavs. that is yeah he worked out well in atlanta too because they are in the playoffs although yo uh your teams have not done too much but you've been doing pretty well for yourself though rubio is rubio Jalen brown's actually pretty good himself i kind of when i first saw rj play in his first i kind of envisioned him having like a Jalen brown kind of come up because he was really odd in his first season i remember brown was kind of you know what i mean it seems like he has is having one in real life as he's averaging like 20 this season or whatever son white side 21 and 17 a game chris bosh being chris bosh still even so chris bosh by this point obviously we know good and well had to retire due to the blood clots which was saddening obviously to everybody because who the hell wants to see anything bad happened to chris bosh for god's sake hell did he do josh mcroberts wow drew holiday still just being drew holiday i guess now they're tied with the steph curry and chris douglas roberts andrea bargnani and joel and the led san antonio spurs team what the why did my monitor just turn give me a second there we go my monitor's over here just like yo yo you've been recording for too long relax neil akina led wars as he's genuinely improving or whatever is their third in the conference with 54 wins ingram they're actually a pretty see this year they're a pretty good team but last year, I don't even I feel like they were all more like low 80s. All these guys that are now like leading them or whatever. LeBron, Zach Randolph, I guess just signed there. And Larry Sanders also just signed there. Hold on. LeBron got himself a little squad. Okay, Shelvin Max. Shelvin Max should be finding himself in teams. Is he still in the NBA? I think he, he, he somehow he is. He got to be around. Naldo Balkman in the Supersonics. Well, wait, that's Giannis Ben Simmons in the Supersonics. Actually, wow, they really lost everybody except for Giannis and Ben Simmons. But that's a good duo still. They're the fifth seed. So they'll be playing LeBron in the first round. Kawhi and Dwight Howard. Howard, who's now an 84 and genuinely regressed because he's kind of old. He's 34 years old. And he has Zach Lino on this team too. We averaged 29 more than Kawhi. They're the sixth seed, the Mavericks with KD and Mitchell Robinson. They're up here as a seventh seed and the eighth seed, of course. Hey, no, no, I'm thinking completely differently. Yeah, no, Utah is here. They're not, they're not even starting Donovan Mitchell. They're starting George Hill. But Luca, Zion, Tomb, and Donovan off the bench. Okay. And they're the last team. D Wade and Tony Parker did not make the uh, you guys already got two rings though, so at least you, you're living well. Hopefully i feel like i already did this but i definitely didn't uh leaders in points was kd paul irving james and arenas who has nobody on his team mr gilbert uh rebounds was noah whiteside and bead randolph and monroe obviously noah they kind of traded whoever the hell was next to him as a big man for mccollum so uh, yeah sis westbrook paul curry ball and rose i already do why did i feel like i already i oh my i'm such an idiot sorry one take one take you know we can't cut nothing out around here oh my god atlanta now they're the ac what am i talking about miami's out of here though charlotte's out of here that's three east teams real quick Mavericks out of here. Sorry, Kevin Durant. Orlando.
Orlando's out of here to New York, so no upsets on the Eastern Conference side of things. The Warriors lose to the Pelicans. Seattle loses to LeBron, and the Utah Jazz lose to the Lakers. So there was just one upset, and it was the Pelicans. Kawhi Leonard beats, oh my God, the Warriors lost. I just realized what I said. Turner, Parker, Neil Aquina, Ingram, and Robin. And by the way, for my mishap for saying the stats twice, uh, blame it on it being 117 a.m. I actually haven't recorded this long in a very long time. I used to do this pretty regularly. Though. So uh, second round, let's just simulate it. Washington Bullets are out of here. New York Knicks are out of here. Well, San Antonio's out of here and Portland's out of here. So the Spurs, despite Andre Bargnani's 50 in game seven, lose by four points. Zach Levine's almost 50, 48, and Kawhi's 38. So this was a hardwood classic for sure. This man, uh, Andrea had 50 on, I guess, Trey Lyles, actually, or John Collins. Yeah, not the greatest defender himself, so it's cool. Embiid at 24, 19 on Dwight Howard, but in real life, they're a team. And Steph Curry is yet again not going to make it deep in the playoffs, even though he's supposed to have, well, three rings by now, right? And the Lakers, yet again, Sebastian Telfair. Actually, he's got to be one of the best point guards ever, too, with the way he's been playing. And he has definitely not been pro for 21 years, but it probably screwed up that. And uh, he's been incredible. Look, they don't even give Sebastian Telfair, except for all-star appearances, they don't even give him, like, all-NBA appearances. Like, he just gets three of them, but, like, he just he just wins in the postseason, dog. I mean, he's got two rings now, right? Yeah. My Knicks lost to the Bucks. I don't even remember what the... Well, obviously, so, look. Yeah, so the Bucks, you can't... Oh, my God, bro. They lost to the Bucks, and the Bucks is Tyreek and Michael Beasley. Are you kidding me? This man, Michael Beasley, dropped 38 points. Michael Beasley, why are you doing this to me? I was so excited when we drew... This man averaged 25 this season. He never... He never... Okay, he did it once in New York, but dog. Can I see the Bucks real quick? Give me a little look at them, because the Bucks now are the second seed, and they're in the conference finals. I gotta see what the hell the Bucks are up to. I wanna see regular season and postseason. Michael Beasley is the leading scorer with 25 points per game. Then Shea is Shea. Tyreek, 18 a game. Another former Knicks. Beats the Knicks. They really... This was genuinely like a, you know what I mean? Like a get the hell out of here because like they picked McCollum, Harden, DJ Wilson, okay. Porter, Tom, like they picked all these guys, Joakim over Michael Beasley and Tyreek. And then they said, nah, yo, we're going to play Chris Paul in the conference finals, but they might lose though. But nonetheless, Hellfair, Bosch, Whiteside versus Kawhi finally making a deep playoff run. I mean, it is, it's fine though. You know what I mean? Whatever. And the Celtics just quickly 4-0 sweep the hell out of the Bucks. Sorry, Michael Beasley. 20 points by you though. Chris Paul, 52 and 17. This man's career high is 70. Two for Chris Paul. Imagine Chris Paul dropping set. That would be so dope. Man's averaging 35 and 15 in the playoffs. He's put up now 52, 65 in this playoff run. Unless this is regular season, actually. Yeah, it actually was. Never mind. They made quick work of a ton of ton of these playoff teams. You know what's wild? He dropped 65 on the Hawks just to get them ready for their playoff series, like two games later. And 4-0 swept them. That's just that's just disrespectful. That's some Jordan stuff. He's looking like point guard Jordan out here, I'll be honest with you. But actually, we should say point guard Bernard King because uh yeah, Pelicans lose. Why Leonard? loses to the Lakers. So now we're going to see one of the best. Well, well ho hold on, hold on, hold on. Celtics versus Lakers. I don't think it's 2020 simulation is nearing its end. I don't think we've seen this the entire time. You know, this is a classic matchup when I didn't even apply the relocations and they have their like logos that like their logos have never changed. I don't think maybe just the color schemes. But that's really it. Towns and Chris Paul with Marcus Morris, Boozer, Stucky. They got a uh, Pascal off the bench against Bosch, Whiteside and Sebastian Tell but this is one of the best point guard matchups and best team matchups. I was really getting ready to say point guard, but then I saw it was Lakers versus Celtics too. Lakers going crazy in game one, but hold on. Lakers, Celtics coming back? Oh boy. No, they're not, but they they did they make a valiant effort though. Telfair 33 and 16, Paul 27 and 17. This might be the most classic point guard matchup we've seen this entire simulation, but I, it's also been 50 years. So uh, yeah, I might be bugging. Telfair 27, Chris Paul 56 and 15 to win game two. He said, all right, I'm done playing. I'm done I'm playing around next game it is very hold on it is very i would i want to jump in badly hold on solomon close shot missed but he got the rebound too i want the lakers to have the ball if i'm jumping in okay no they just scored stucky layup made and the lakers scored again then the set whoa oh my god it's a foul hold on Leia. no just 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 yeah it looks like the celtics won they won 28 from bosh 26 from telfair and uh jamal crawford actually over here in la too although not with the clippers and rodney stucky 22 leading score of this team and he actually hit that clutch shot that i just the layup that to you know what i mean give whatever a couple point lead and he had some free throws and he missed a dunk what the hell stucky and he missed another shot why did stucky take every single shot look at this stucky three-point shot made oh wow and you know why it was because i just saw it said paul got substituted for uh michael carter williams he got fouled out 19 and 19 by chris paul but he got fouled out so rodney stucky closed it out gotta give that man his props i'm getting into full context from the game log the celtics are up 2-1 currently chris paul this man is wearing number 13 you already know good and well though i had to get in one of these games. Hassan White's at the line. Oh my God.
got Hassan's free throw routine. You already know he steps back 17 feet. Is he going to hit it? Yeah. LA is at the line and Hassan hits both free throws. 66%. 105-104. Once again, the graphics on this are perfectly fine. I, I honestly, this whole time, I haven't been realizing they, they aren't even next gen. Pass down to Boozer. Boozer back out to Paul. Paul getting double teamed, I would assume. A step back. Fade away. What? Pass out. Oh, down to Solomon. Solomon trying to big body. Oh my God. Solomon. Did you see how this man just finessed the hell out of Whiteside? Oh boy. You know who, you know who this reminds me of? One more time. One more. Run it back. Run it, run it back. Oh yeah. But that reminds me of Julie Loke for. Why do I watch so many Julie Loke for highlights? I don't know. But that man was a beast. And for some reason, he got disrespected in the league and he, he doesn't really play much anymore. 21 and 21 from Paul. Probably because he doesn't play defense too. But yeah, that man Solomon. I don't even know where Towns is. He's not even fouled out, but he's not in the game. But you got Solomon. So what the hell else do you need, I guess? Why does it look like Danny? Oh, that's Wilson Chandler. Oh my God. Down to Chris Bosch. I don't know where Telfair either is, but it doesn't, does it really matter? Because it looks like Wilson Chandler is the point guard of the future. 107, 106, 48 seconds left. The screen set by whoever the hell that is. Paul going to the basket. Pump fake. He's got double team back out. Stucky. Stucky. We don't need big buckets from you. Oh, back to CP. CP contested three. It's all 32 seconds left. That was a dirty three by CP32. He shot it right over white side. If he would have hit, that would have been nuts. And the back out Chandler. Chandler, 24 seconds left. You know, I haven't even realized that there wasn't a three point line. That's how much, that's how engulfed I've been in this game. Bosh back out Duncan. Duncan over the Chandler. Chandler going to get the screen. He's going all the way to the basket. He gets fouled. 106, 107. Wilson Chandler at the line. The first free throw is good. This is the tie up the series two to two. If he can hit both of these, he hits both. But now they need to stop. Boozer into CP. Who is he guarding? He's got to buy some tall best. Okay, come on. Chris Ball, spin move. Hold on. Paul back out. Mark, Markeith, Marcus. I don't even know. Back over Stucky. Stucky to the basket. Layup is all. Sign over to Chandler and they get away without getting fouled. Hey, whoa, did it just pop up that they were, they were leading the series four to one and right tripping? I don't even know. Who cares? You know that's not true though. It's two to two now. Chris Paul, 25, three and eight, 26 from Towns, 21 and 21 from, okay, go to two to two. I'm assuming back to Boston. I think that's how series is work. Yes, it does. Oh man, Boston's going crazy. Chris Paul said, sorry, you guys went into the game. What? Oh my, oh, wait, hold on. Lakers outscored him like crazy in the second half though, especially the fourth quarter by 11 points. Telfair, 36, Bosch, 30, Whiteside, 20, but Stucky, 28, Towns, 28, Paul, 24 and 20. Even Isaac had double digit points. You know, that's crazy. Seen Siakam was still off the bench too, and this could be it. Christopher Paul and the Boston Celtics are going to win. He dropped 48 and 18. Chris Paul, what is wrong with you? 17 for 25, and he hit 10 for 15 from three. A 10 for 15 is always lucky for me, like whenever I see it on the clock or something, because 10 15 is my birthday. So, you know what I mean? 10 for 10 15, you know what I'm saying? I'll take it. Solomon had 18. This man, Solomon, big body. Pound 17 on seven for nine. Don't even got to shoot that much. You already know Paul sending you up in the right spots. Although, how many assists did he have? 18 assists still. Oh my God. Oh, fair. We know you nice. Hey, tell for it. Shout out to you, dog. We know you nice. You got two rings and you have a career high of 67. Oh my God. What is wrong with you? Should have checked. Uh, well, we know Kobe didn't beat his career high. Oh, wait. We, actually, I did check everybody's career. What am I talking about? I was going to say Kobe, but no, he didn't beat 81. So it wouldn't show me anyway. But um, Chris Paul, that is the sentence. That is, I and they won by 41 in Los Angeles, too. That is nuts. 33 and 18 a game by Paul in the finals. And I just wanted to see if anybody still has beaten Bernard Kings. Even just 70 in the playoff game, but no. Jamal Crawford couldn't get the ring there. Did he get a ring in this career at all? Come on now. Oh, he did. Okay, that's good for him. Al Gasol, he did not get a ring. Wow. I felt like he 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 just bounced around so much. I felt like he was bound to get one. He went Seattle. Boom. I think Dallas for a little bit. Orlando. Houston. Maybe that's the glitch. Probably. Philadelphia. And then he retired. But it's it's all good, pal. You had a good you're a Hall of Famer, of course. Jason Richardson retired a legend, 77 overall. If he's not a Hall of Famer, dog, he might not be. Oh, my, no, he has to. Dog, look at this resume. He has to be. Yo, but Arenas, we know good and well you are, too. In real life, you probably would be one, too, if you didn't, like, have your career cut short by a bunch of different stuff. Kwame Brown retires after a long, illustrious 17-year career at 37 years old. In fairness, he played, like, 10 years in real life, too. And all of these seasons are definitely glitches that say more than, like, 10 points per game. But a uh, one-time champion, DPOY. Oh, yeah, that's not true. That you, They glitched you for somebody else. I can't believe this man was still picked seven, second overall. I guess they knew he would have a long, illustrious career. If he was actually DPOY, somebody correct me, but there's no way. Yao Ming retires after a 17-year career. Good to see, regardless if he didn't really do much. At, well, actually, he had five DPOYs. What am I talking about? Yao Ming had a great career. And every time he went DPOY, he was first team all defense. So I guess you know, when he was at his peak, he was definitely at his peak. Jared Jeffries retires. Nick Collison, I don't even think he ever played for the Supersonics in this universe. Andrew Bogut retires. Okay. Okay, that's it. Let's see Hall of Fame. Arenas, Pow, Jason Richardson, and Yao. That is accurate. Cool, cool, cool. But no Kwame? Come on now, guys. Okay. Has T Mac 
even retired yet? Where the hell is T-Mac been? Did he retire? I don't even remember, dog, but he's just been chilling. Jersey retirements, Yao Ming with the Sixers for, wow, 14 years there. Jason Richardson for, I think, his entire career with the Clippers. And Powell for multiple stints with the Magic? Wait, doesn't even make sense. Is That's the same year. What do I? What is that? He wore, he wore 41. I was just talking about Dirk, but Powell didn't win for, wear 41 in real life, right? Draft lottery, obviously, this is the final one for the guys that we see in the NBA this today. I just got drafted. Cool guy named Anthony Edwards. He says some cool quotes sometimes. Um, whoever the hell else. I don't know. Lamelo. He's he's got some brother. Nuggets, Timberwolves, Cavs, Suns, Rockets. Obviously, it doesn't really matter because I, I don't know. Miles Power. The, who the, what the hell was that guy's name? It said Bug Bunny or something? I don't even know. Nuggets get Edwards. Timberwolves get Ball. I'm at that point where I was yesterday, too, where I started dying of, like, tired and everything. Why is Obi Toppin have this face scan? What the hell? They Yo, the guys who made the 70s roster might have just taken... It looks like this is like a guy from the original roster, honestly. They might have just taken for granted that I would never get to the Obi Toppin day and age. And, well, I want to say that I might be the only person that ever uses this roster that ever does it. Shout out to them for creating this and all that stuff. Of course, yet again, I like I did at the beginning of the video. Series, I guess, by this point. Giannis, unrestricted Kyrie. Hold on. Let me just simulate and not be stupid and miss the entire thing. Oh, God. Zebo just doesn't like signing with places. So, we'll just... I'm pretty sure he was the reason I missed it last time, too. Giannis re-signed with the Sonics. Kyrie re-signed with the Grizzlies. Greg Oda with the Pacers. Ben Simmons with the Sonics. Mike Conley still with the Blazers. Bron's obviously been there for his entire career. Uh, LaMarcus Aldridge leaves his sons for the Sixers. He's going to fill in Yao Ming's role over there, I guess. Anthony Randolph with the Bulls. Sons, uh, they, they get it. Uh, Jalen Brown from Atlanta. Brandon Ingram still with the Warriors. He strode with the Nets. I don't really... Uh, yeah, that's about it. And yeah, so Pau Gasol, he was on Philadelphia. Oh, yeah, wow. So forget even Yao Ming, too. So yeah, wait, they, they had Yao Ming. Oh, wait, no, Yao's been gone from Philly, but they still... Yeah, they had to fill the Pau Gasol role. I guess LaMarcus will try his best. Sebastian's regressing. I mean, hell, you've only been dominating the league for all these years. He won two rings. I'm just going to click auto-generate rookies for the first time in mad years. Oh, my God. I could... I, I will click, actually, you know. Whoever the hell created this 2021 draft shout to you. There you go. I, I downloaded it. Kyrie Walker? What the... Isn't this guy, like, a Twitch streamer now or something? Is he actually good still? I thought he fell off. People used to make fun of him and be, like, a grown man playing against, like, little competition. Like, he always looked like a real grown man, but I don't know. But, dog, this is the final season, the final year I'll be simulating this. Shout out to anybody who's still here at this point watch this entire thing i'll figure out some for you to comment by the end of this but for now i just gotta yeah actually you know what i get a double entendre real quick i think i thought about it like 15 years back simulation wise i was like i'm gonna make them say uh not make them because i i can't control you you know this i was like i'm gonna i'm gonna ask if they could say uh cp for mvp in the comments and now that's a double entendre though because it was supposed to be for click productions and i actually obviously thought about chris paul too when i thought about it now chris paul too is uh, like a six-time mvp or something stupid so let me get a cp for mvp if you're still here and watching this series because i i i don't this is the most dedicated or whatever the, i don't even know anymore Durant and westbrook all-star captains wall two-time all-star and he's a starter russell's a two-time all-star though you're an idiot and should have never left the knicks i'm just kidding probably good for your career or maybe not i don't know jazz are far oh, wow if the jazz win this that would be nuts luca zion donovan the the big three over here they all have to be starting by now i would assume no they still have donovan whatever works hey i'm not gonna i'm not gonna mess with it. i mean they have the option yeah, definitely the option because luca could play small forward so yeah they probably play with it a little bit a couple times but uh look my knicks are still good i didn't mean to select you guys but uh celtics you're gonna probably go back to the finals if the celtics meet the jazz that would be a beautiful way to end this or whatever let's see what happens chris paul definitely you can give me a cp for mvp because that's his fifth mvp in a whole decade span too first one was a decade ago still winning them at 34 and now a one-time champion a beautiful resume obviously we're not going to be here to see his career end but hell does he do we need to Lamelo ball rookie of the year 21 and 9 a game that's actually really elite on the wolves too who just won a ring recently and i was surprised that they kind of just fell off trey young six man of the year that makes sense although donovan's a six man too Rudy gobert mitchell robinson most improved okay good for you abe tinsley coach of the year. you must be the coach of chris paul's team the celtics because yeah first team is paul westbrook durant bargnani so bargnani in real life must still be only 35 years old granted no 35 year old is probably going to be on the NBA first team except your name is like LeBron James or something but um this means in this in this life he would have been elite he would have been dirt and he has a championship too with Paul Paul Pierce and then, and then beat all NBA first team right next to him in terms of being on the same team and now also all NBA first team you get it. second team Kyrie Wall Giannis LeBron and Cat third team Luca D'Angelo PG Zion and Demarcus and Eric Green's really good at defense even though nobody can see him but Chance say Chance said my daughter looks just like see you can't see her no you've seen your daughter Chance you posted her on Instagram that was probably but that now that bar was 2015
16. Yeah, no, we didn't see your daughter probably until like 2016 or something. That bar was hard. That whole ultralight beam was... Uh, okay, C Carl and uh, C Chris Paul. Carl's a 98 too. Speaking of that, uh, th to close us off, Derek Rose, 99. You haven't even done... You haven't won anything, but you've still been Derek Rose. I felt like you won that. You were you were all-star captain, but I guess no MVP yet. CP, D Rose, Westbrook, LeBron. And that's it for 99 overalls because, uh, I mean, Giannis is a little plus one boost, but we can give him if he wants it. And him, Towns, Leonard, 98. That makes sense, honestly, I guess. Towns is a little bit surprising, but that's good for him, I guess. Chris Paul helped him the hell out. Although he was actually doing really good, or whatever. I don't know. Bargnani, Curry, and Eric Green are 97s. Paul, Durant, Embiid, and Kyrie are fake whatever, plus one or 96s. Then you got Kyrie, Harden, Carmelo as 95. Lowry, Boogie, Donches as 94. Wade, Thompson, and Simmons, and George as 93. It's, you, it's, just, it's just so it's so cool to see the league like pan out. So different but so similar like there's just a few players sprinkled in at weird places like obviously boogie is injured wade is still really good lowry's a little bit better than he you know what i mean actually is. wall never got injured or nothing and he's a little bit better than he was what he was but i mean in relative to the league he's about the same Eric green somehow ended up becoming really good from the second round and this he might have been undrafted oh no he was picked 10 in the second round bargnani wasn't a bust he was the best pick in 2006 so he's still really good i mean just like how kevin durant you know kevin durant is still out here dominating right he was a 2000 2007 first round pick so i mean hey Argnani just said yeah no i'm not gonna be a bust this time around and Kawhi, Giannis, the rest are self-explanatory and then derrick rose at the top of the top i mean come on now this is all went pretty beautifully and now potentially close it off jake layman is a starting small four for the next one we'll talk about it. league leaders in points is kd Kyrie, paul westbrook and dennis schroed what the hell he schroed what is wrong with you rebounds noah and bead cancer whiteside and chandler sis westbrook paul ball curry and lowry Good percentage of course is mitchell robinson fine this is like better than anybody else ever has done uh, this man what, what is wrong with you and then eldon robinson look at this man El eldon looks like he put on that mustache to like blend in like he's trying to like that's like the disguise you know when they do that in tv shows look at victor too over 50 percent. but yeah final standings uh overlook boss and obviously incredible you know what the hell's going on here actually the same exact team basically literally the same exact orlando russell westbrook led his team to 52 wins with gary trent jr nasir little blake griffin nurkic bagley off the bench i'm genuinely starting to get lightheaded because of how tired i am <laughs> granted there's a lot worse things i could be doing so uh I'll, I'll take it but i mean miami kyle lowry paul george trey young they're the third seed the bucks are cool bullets are cool they, they somehow were just figuring it out new york obviously we know the deal over here they traded somebody else too because the bias is here never mind they just signed to bias i feel like they lost somebody else then i, I don't know indiana De'Aaron, devin booker kevin love and greg odin and jaron jackson and fake steph curry aka jeremy lynn are also in the playoffs and cleveland's the final seed which is kind of frightening actually with james wiseman now starting at center and they have bam out of bio is bowl bowl still and bowl bowls here but does he even play i don't even know uh he does actually that, those were his numbers for this season what the hell utah is the best team in the league though and they are currently starting donovan luca and zion you know the deal there you know what the hell the stats gotta be crazy 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 actually donovan's not even doing that much to be honest with you but does he really need to not really we've even got isaiah thomas over here still back in uh no never mind he was never in utah in his actual career i was thinking about uh sacramento lakers are still the lakers of course you know the deal here come on now san antonio curry argnani and Embiid. we'll see if they can finally close i mean that would be cool dennis smith jr anthony edwards chris stops and al horford with zach randolph who must have just sounded like a minimum or something i don't even know he's just chilling ad still has yet to win a ring but i'm just being honest like you you, you wouldn't I and mean, you might have a ring but like you know i mean the, the whole war i actually really like kd i love to watch kd play but like the way that you know i mean the warriors i don't really not that i don't count the rings i mean as long as he's just chilling i don't enjoy your life kevin that's kind of the vibe i get from kevin like he doesn't really care what the hell you people think about his award is about his legacy or anything like that who the hell really cares i feel that um at the same time i'm not surprised to see him not at championship rings if he really probably wouldn't have championship rings if he didn't go to the warrior but he could though he could he they could have bugged out and uh the thunder could have just came back and i don't know not blown the 3-1 lead the next year right neil akina is still the, i love how you're still the starting point guard too like i don't i don't you know i, mean, I don't think i don't take things for granted with you i've seen this man frank neil akina be benched behind ramon sessions jared jack manuel moutier he would actually got the starting role all those years things would be probably a lot different for him but instead whatever who cares he's still frank and then super sonics are actually the eight seed so i'm good for them i guess but they're actually gonna be playing if they beat utah i'm gonna be befuddled let me see for the final year what teams missed it Kyrie missed it lebron i genuinely would have forgot honestly i would have forgot because i'm just out out of it uh lebron missed the playoff 36 now with five mvps three championships 15 all-star appearances 11 first team yeah he's lebron and to be honest um he in real life now he has four championships because you know what i mean yeah you know he, well he does he's this isn't a 
in a better career than real life because me personally i give him more respect for the fact that he made 10 11 finals but i don't think he's lost a, a finals appearance and he still won five mvps so like it's kind of the same thing if not better if people only like like the the field goal percentage of his finals appearances if you get what i mean john wall and tatum didn't make the playoffs uh lamello La balls team where do you, i mean you drafted lamello what do you expect and sacramento yeah come on now tony and d had to get old eventually and they're still pretty good but you know what i mean not good enough pelicans wow I, didn't they make the conference finals last year and they missed the entire thing this year ignis bros is starting for a basketball team that is nuts Melo's team is the worst team sadly we did not get to see him most importantly i did not get to see him win a championship in this but it's okay jr smith is in new jersey his hometown and they're not good bogey's team is not good despite him being a pretty solid reincarnation of kareem even though kareem wasn't well kareem was good of course the simulation but you know what i mean brandon roy's team is the playoff that's kind of crazy hawks missed it not too crazy but they do have Jokic though uh derrick rose's team missed it and chicago missed it despite clay josh jackson jaron uh john ja morant and anthony randall it's kind of cool to see be good in this because of the fact that he when you used to do like franchise simulations on like all the last gen 2ks what i mean by last gen is like 2k 12 2k 11 he randomly would become really good i don't know what year you guys drafted though so i don't know if that made sense if it 2k 11 maybe wasn't drafted okay let me keep let me simulate of course the knicks are the first one to get uh, eliminated but i didn't expect them to go too far though denver is out of here that's already an upset they lose i mean i would expect them to lose to kevin durant but like you never know because i mean they were the higher seed so that's what i mean orlando beat indiana four to one cleveland is out of here well yeah they were the eight seed, but you never know seattle is out of here that's uh that's the eight seed as well okay so ben simmons goodbye Giannis. all that last shot your last opportunity you, you let it slip uh shout out to eminem like 2003 whenever that song's from uh san antonio i was probably even older actually san antonio is out of here drawing a blank real quick uh san antonio right yeah bargnani and beat and curry lost first round to michael porter jr jalen brown lonzo ball who had 23 assists jimmy butler that is a wild team to lose to i'll be honest with you mari stoudemire is on the suns team and he doesn't even play they have design and non musa playing or whatever the hell you say his name lakers versus gold a lot of game lakers lose wow so sebastian and chris bosh and whiteside after a bunch of finals appearances are gonna lose to of course jabari parker and frank nilakina like 16 points god i'll never get over him being really good at basketball bucks they lost the bullet so the bullets will advance instead of uh the tyreek evan shea and michael beasley led team which is just crazy knicks lost to the heat but you know the heat had made a couple finals appearances and james harden isn't really james harden in this he's just kind of like cool james harden is playing like how you would have expected the man who was a six man on the thunder to just play when he got to houston but then instead he just decided to average like 40 a game for mad season and uh that's it for the upset so okay golden state loses to phoenix i don't even know how phoenix is pulling this off but uh, orlando loses dallas loses and boston loses wow boston is not repeating just hit me okay so chris paul 32 towns 27 but they lose to markel fultz and eric gordon so this is the year of the youngins for sure which is fitting the heat also are going to the conference finals which i guess isn't really youngins but i mean paul george is still he's uh, okay he's 30 yeah definitely not young but uh yeah i mean you were drafted 10 years ago and he, same with lowry lowry was drafted like 12 years ago 13 14 okay and you do have trey young who's literally and figuratively and by his name young whatever the hell i think literally and figuratively would have would have would have went went perfectly fine whatever i'm done speaking with the bullets and heat is markel versus lowry wiggins versus paul george jj hickson versus thad young does rudy have a cyber face why are you invisible you're just rudy gobert against christoph gerbaud he might actually win the bullets that is on this side of things it's gonna be a very young showing regardless look at this lonzo jalen and mpj versus luca obviously donovan's on the bench right now and zion i wonder how they decide to put donovan on the bench but nonetheless two to two in the east two oh my god phoenix just took two straight games let me slow it down actually this is the last year let me just slow this down it's 2 a.m but i don't care this is video is going to be on youtube for a very long time aka the rest of eternity the bullets are eliminated to the heat can't lie uh markel though you know it would have been cool to see markel in the finals but it's cool also to see well trey young too for sure but i meant really paul george and lowry potentially redeem themselves their fourth finals appearance right it's been going crazy i can't even lie now for the other side of things let me not simulate through this i want to see this utah is currently down one to or two to three let's see if they can come back on phoenix it looks like phoenix is oh hold on i don't even know who has the ball but i'm jumping in regardless i think this is the first conference finals jumping no i think it's actually second i remember i jumped into something else too phoenix has the ball okay so they recovered it got a rebound of some 24 seconds on the shot clock we're gonna pass it into Jalen brown brown over to lonzo lonzo cool yeah so like i said cool young teams either way but i mean okay lonzo okay trying to get to the basket around donovan steps back he's not getting nowhere really double team uh don't double team lonzo he could definitely pass really well dj wilson trying to get the basket back out Jalen brown brown gets a screen brown still guarded nicely by luca good defense 
Brown, tough mid range is off to Gallinari. Gallinari's got Luca on the break for the dunk, wide open. One point deficit now for Utah. 42 seconds left. Lonzo gets the screen from Okongwu, is that? I don't even know. Lonzo, awful shot though. Rebound by Al Jefferson, still out here in 2021. Gallinari between the legs, over to Luca. Luca trying to get to the basket again. Luca Doncic back out to Donovan. Uh, I don't think Zion's in the. Yeah, no, it's Hollis Jefferson's in the game. It said they gave it to Jefferson back over to Hollis Jefferson. What the hell? So many Jeffersons. Uh, Doncic now gets the screen from Hollis Jefferson to the basket. Down to Gallinari. Gallinari back out. Mitchell for three. It's all. You got a foul because it looks like you might be over with. My eyes are like halfway closed to the point where I can't even tell what the hell's going on, but I can tell that was a good three point opportunity and he missed it. And just a good shot in general as Lonzo misses the second free throw. They take a timeout. Okay, okay. We know Lonzo's not the best of the line. Might have got better though, actually. Jefferson. The pass is into Mitchell. Mitchell. They're down by just two points. Hill now with the ball. Do you want the ball into his hands with the game on the line? Hill gets fouled. I think it, it didn't matter. Oh my God. Zion Williamson off of that. It looked like it was a blatant foul, but he must have got the ball first. I don't know what the hell. Lonzo Ball. Was that his defense at the end? I, th I think I mean, it, was, it was George Hill, so he must have been guarding him. Lonzo Ball. It is a very defensive minded team because they got him, Jimmy Butler. I guess Moody is out here playing minutes. What the hell? Jalen Brown's very good at defense. Uh, you got Michael Porter Jr. He does not play no defense, but he can get you some buckets though. Okongwu, very defensive minded. Mario Stoudemire, DNP, high Dylan Windler. Utah Jazz has been eliminated in the finals. The final finals sounds kind of nuts. It's crazy. This is it. Fitting though that it's just, uh, you know what I mean? Run of the mill Phoenix Suns versus uh, the Miami Heat. You know what? I'm going to end this off kind of cool. So before the final finals, I was actually going to check the league history to see. The Heat obviously already know they just won a ring not too long ago. 4-2 over the Lakers after making it, you know what I mean? Two years back to back but losing. Now they're back again to try and redeem themselves after a three year drought. Missing the playoffs. One of those users is kind of crazy. And the Suns, they did win with Sabonis so many years ago. Oh my God. Over 20 years ago, they did that. Over my Knicks too. I forgot. Oh my God. The Knicks had crisscross. That's why I forgot about them. This is what I wanted to do. For the final finals, I wanted to do a little rundown memory lane as we conclude. Obviously, you know the drill. When it starts off early on, it's going to start off with Bob McAdoo. Bob McAdoo, Julius Irving. All the normal 1970s. Not, not much has changed early on. So, you know what I mean? Things going to happen as they did. Bill Walton gives the Portland Trailblazers a ring. Julius Irving gives the Sixers a ring. Bob McAdoo gives the Buffalo Braves a ring. Wow, it shows their old name too. That's actually kind of cool. And he gives him another ring over Julius Irving, which you know, just some old, old man stuff. Come on now. Bill Walton then left the Blazers, went over to the Rockets and beat the Hornets. So I think at this time already had, yeah, they must have already had Bernard King. I mean, they had to. I didn't even realize how many finals he made consecutively, which is five. They they lost in game seven to Bill Walton and then they lost actually 4-0 to Magic Johnson, which a pretty dominant effort from Magic Johnson, considering that Bernard King went on to win the next three finals straight, including beating Magic Johnson in one of these. He beat the Warriors, he beat the Braves, which was of course Bob McAdoo in them. He beat the Warriors, which I don't really remember who the hell was on the Warriors because it was kind of a lot of years ago. Then the reign of the, the, the Timberwolves starts because Clyde Drexler wins this one over the Raptors by his lonesome, honestly. But then Larry Bird joined him. I remember that very vividly. You don't got to tell me twice. Larry Bird joined him and they went on to win two more. Bird wins the finals MVP two years later over Michael Jordan, but then Jordan says, nah, yo, you beat me. I'm coming back. Same thing he did with the Pistons that one year with Jordan. I mean, he bulked up after the Pistons were beating him down. He comes back and wins all the Timberwolves the next year. Timberwolves still managed to make two more finals, but did not win either one. They lose to the Milwaukee Bucks, who I think had Akeem Olajuwon actually by this point, but they, but he wasn't, yeah, he wasn't that dog yet. And Byron Scott won finals MVP. I mean, he obviously was that dog if he, I mean, he was in the finals and uh, Philadelphia, I'm assuming he still had an old Dr. J, but Trey Ferguson was the final. I don't even remember what the hell this was. Then Larry Bird gets one more championship. I think he actually retired soon after this. Sure, obviously. Well, actually, no, no, no I'm tripping. Regardless, he, yeah, they, this was his last championship. Him and Clyde. Oh, Clyde, yeah, I forgot about Clyde too. Clyde is like the Jordan. Bernard King is like the LeBron or whatever. I don't even know. Sabonis then came out of nowhere and won a 4 1 over Chris Cross and the Knicks. And Sabonis was one hell of a dominant force. Like I said, like the what ifs be saying, oh, Sabonis could have been this, it could have been that. I don't know if he was injured or if he came over from wherever the hell he's from too late, but yeah, regardless, he was really good. He was a 99 overall, one of the best in the league for a long time. And Shaq won back-to-back -back rings, but uh, he didn't win finals MVP the second time, but it didn't matter really because he got two rings. John Stockton randomly just started bugging out and led his uh, Washington Bullets to a championship over the Sacramento Kings. Then Sean Kemp randomly, after bouncing around for his whole career, really doing nothing, he decided to randomly go to Seattle, was there for a few years, and then all of a sudden won the championship, and I think he left right after this. Speaking of leaving right after this, I was looking at Sacramento like, hmm, what's the context here? I forgot. Now I remember. Look at this. Kansas City Kings lose right here to the to Shaquille O'Neal in seven games. They lose right here in six games.
names to John Stockton. And they just kept losing and losing and losing despite having two guys by the names of Patrick Ewing and, and uh, 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 Scotty Pippen. And they finally win in 2042 or whatever the hell year this is. I don't know. They finally win. And then I believe Ewing just left right after this. It was either Ewing or Pippen. Yeah, it was Ewing. And then they traded Pippen mad later. And Ewing definitely didn't win another ring, I don't believe. Sabonis was on the Magic now. He had left the Suns, I think, right after he won the ring or a few years later. And then he ended up winning two rings with the Magic. A cool little team over there, I'm not mistaken, but uh, nonetheless, he's Sabonis, so Sabonis was Sabonis. And I knew I wasn't tripping about Steve Nash winning a championship. Steve Nash won finals MVP in his first year. I, I don't remember if I came to that resolution when Steve Nash retired about him winning or not, but yeah, Steve Nash won a championship in his first year over the Cleveland Cavaliers. So I guess have won through some trials and tribulations because now they've actually finally won some rings. But look at this, they made it three straight years with Grant Hill, I would assume, as this is like 98. No, 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 forget the years, forget the years. Steve Nash, Denver Nuggets, 2000. 2045 he wins as a rookie then chris weber after a long dominant phase of basketball really really a lot of long dominant years him and also reggie miller finally get one over grant hill yet again but then grant hill comes back the next year and says golden state yeah take this l big dog sorry portland right after drafting lebron james with the pick that i would assume they traded for to acquire but i can't necessarily remember just they just did they they figured it out real quick because they drafted lebron james number one Within two seconds, a okay, first year, they had a championship with this man. Won a championship as a rookie. Now that I say that, yeah, no, Nash definitely wasn't a rookie. But he was young, though. He was young. There's no way Nash and LeBron were drafted within four years of each other. I know LeBron was definitely in his rookie. And guess what happens the next year? Mad weird stuff happens when Jason Richardson and Ricky Davis start bugging out to win back-to-back -back championships over the Washington Bullets, who have not had the best of luck, I don't believe. You're right. They won that one with John Stockton. But aside from that, I mean, that's that's cool, though. You at least won one. Then, obviously, they kind of, like, wasted a couple careers. I believe it's kind of what happens pretty often in the NBA when only one team can win the championship every year. Yeah, Jason Richardson and Ricky Davis back to back championship. They beat, uh, did they beat? I wish I could recall, but was this when I wish I could like click some and see the roster? But was this when Tim Duncan was already on the New York Nets? Because that would be frightening. I would assume he was not. I don't know how the hell the Nets made the finals. I don't remember that. That was only yesterday I was recording that, and I already forget it. Then D Wade is the eight seed, comes all the way the hell out of nowhere, beats the Cleveland Cavaliers in Grand Hill in the finals again. Grand Hill had mad finals where he got swept despite winning stuff. Then LeBron says, hey, I'm LeBron James. Wins a championship. Brandon Roy wins a championship the next year. As a youngin, too. This is 2008, so this is his uh, second year. Then LeBron James comes all the way the hell out of nowhere yet again. I had already moved this team to New Jersey, and guess what? That was definitely when they had him, Duncan, and Manu, and they lost regardless. Then Andrea Bargnani comes all the way the hell out of nowhere and wins another championship. Milwaukee, hey, how you doing? Not great. Milwaukee had not won a championship since Byron Scott and uh, Hakeem Olajuwon. A career that they definitely wa they wasted the careers of Hakeem Olajuwon, although he was able to get one ring, and Gilbert Arenas, even though we said Gilbert might have been the issue a little bit. But what happens after this last LeBron ring right here? Well, he loses guy Ken Johnson. Now, uh, after D Wade, you know, D Wade, low casual, beats down on Tim Duncan and Manu again, just like his buddy LeBron did, uh, you know, as the eighth seed again, which is just stupid. Ken Johnson ends up 4 0 the Miami Heat. Wow, we're already so close to the modern day. It, it, went, it went pretty. I know it, this probably took up a good chunk of the recording, but it went pretty fast for me, just like the, the thought of this that we just went through the entire history of the NBA. Yeah, LeBron's old teammate, Ken Johnson, decides, hey, I'm going to go and win my own rings with Minnesota. And Hassan Whiteside somehow won the finals MVP yet again over Miami, his team from an alternate dimension. Then Kemba Walker decides, hey, I'm going to become the greatest, one of the greatest point guards of all time randomly for this one season. Lead my Cleveland team to a 4-1 win over the Lakers who just won the ring last year. And the Lakers go back again to uh, face the heat yet again. Miami comes out on top this time. I feel like I actually missed that narrative like just a second ago when it was happening. Then the Lakers go back to the finals yet again. Bastion Telfair, who's been a leader of that team for a minute now, leads them to another championship alongside Hassan and Chris Bosh. Next up, Eric Green randomly bugs out a guy who's a complete what-if player, college guy, second round, whatever. Him and Frank Nilakina beat the Cleveland Cavaliers, and now Chris Paul finally gets his championship ring. Of course, he, he wasn't priority over uh, Eric Green and Sebastian Telfair, but you know, Chris Paul got a championship, both for the sake of this dimension and the real-life thing, because, uh, yeah, he does he doesn't have one either until now well he's not getting a repeat here because well this is it the final one like i said miami versus phoenix miami as i just recalled has a ton of finals and a ton of ton of finals appearances and phoenix as i feel like i've already forgotten has missed it very very uh, it's been very very many years since they've been here since rv to sabonis first game phoenix wins by 16 points porter jr okongwu jalen brown moody Musa, ball butler paul george's 20 is not enough game two miami's gonna win this one though Paul George 29, 6 and 5. Take this one home real quick.
quick. 20 from Lonzo, 20, 10 from Porter. Well, Porter Jr. if you want to be real official with it. Then Phoenix wins another game. Lonzo, 17, 11. Moody, 15. But uh, Paul George, 21. I said but like he won, but no, he didn't win. Phoenix wins another game, 104, 91. 25, 12, and 14 from Lonzo Ball. Out here playing like a superstar player, 19 and 13 with seven rebounds in the playoff. Putting up triple doubles, all that. Michael Porter Jr. giving him buckets or well, helping him, giving his team buckets, providing his team with baskets, providing his team with points to be exact. Yo, that is 25 and 8, 22 and 3 from, from George, 25 and 8 from Lowry, Valiant Effort, 16 and 6 from Trey Young, Porter Jr., 31, 6 and 2, Brown, 22, Ball, 12 and 13. That is it. Lonzo Ball, Finals MVP, 17 and 13 with 9 rebounds. Lonzo Ball, that is the way we ended off. He shot 37% from the field in this too. Actually, not as weird as I thought it would be. The, the Lonzo Ball just became a superstar in this. KD tried desperately to make his way to the finals in this last one as well. But yeah, let's just simulate through this. Darren Williams retired. Jay Williams. Kyle Singler. Kenneth Faree. Literally no Hall of Famers in this last year. This, what is his 44th year? Yeah, because that would make sense. If we're at 44th, 45th, whatever. Whatever the hell it is. Did I simulate 45 years? Let's just say 45 years. And the uh, one last thing I got to do is give my utmost respect. Wow, even Bron... Wait, that doesn't make sense. No, I think they started piling on top of Bron. Maybe Bron is up here. With Actually, yeah, Bron's pretty late in this career. Wow, just like in real life. Oh my God. This man is up here with 44,000 points, but I had to give my utmost respect to Bernard King. 51,432 points. Magic, 43,735. Dantley, 42,000. Wide, 41,000. Kobe, 41,000. Dirk, 40,000. That's your 40,000 club. Jordan was only a couple points out. Thompson, Shaq, Kareem, Chris Cross, Gilbert, Carl Malone, Garnett, Moses Malone. That doesn't make sense, actually. I don't think that's true, but maybe it is, actually. I don't know. Grant Hill, Bob McAdoo, Iverson, Kiki Vandeway. What? I don't know. Jim Paxson, Tony Parker, Tim Duncan, Chris Paul, David Robinson, Dwayne Wade, Steve Nash, LeBron James. That's the other LeBron James. Marquise Johnson. Starting to see some duplicates from, like, their actual careers in real life. Ray Allen, Vince Carter, Kevin Durant, Kevin McHale, Paul Pierce. Uh, I, I don't know if that's that. I think that's the whatever call. Uh, Kim Olajuwon, Manu Ginobili, the other Michael Jordan, Joe Dumars, Doug West. That's also the other Dirk Nowitzki. Wilt Chamberlain, you weren't even in the simulation, but shout out to you anyway. Antoine Bird. Wow, Antoine. You know Antoine Bird isn't a real person, so for him to have 31,000 more is crazy. Jason Richardson, Hito Turkoglu, Glenn Robinson, Chris Webber, Dave Cowens, Ralph Sampson, Rod Strickland, Andrea Bargnani, Byron Scott, Jason Kidd, Patrick Ewing, Chris Mullen, Reggie Miller, Sebastian Telfair, Brandon Roy, George Gerber, Shaquille O'Neal, Carmelo Anthony, Sidney Moncrief, Chris Bosch, Larry Bird, Bill Walton, Jerry Stackhouse, World Be Free, John Stockton, Moses Malone again, Ricky Davis, Elvin Hayes, Ricky Davis times two because just because, Matia Izzo, Michael Red, Mahmoud Abdul Rayu, Glenn Rice, Hakeem Olajuwon, Oscar Robertson, Dominique Wilkins, Tim Duncan, Stephon Marbury, Carmelo Anthony, Tracy McGrady, Paul Pierce, John Havlicek, which isn't even in the simulation, but it's all good. So it's such a little amount of people that weren't in the sim simulation. Harry Porter, Purvis Short, Kevin Garnett, Vinny Johnson, Jamal Crawford, Vince Carter again, Charlie Scott, Pau Gasol, Alex English, Reggie Miller, Russell Westbrook, Sean Kemp, Jerry West, which is in the simulation, but shout out to you again, Drazen Petrovic, and Kenny Anderson. I still got a few more stats I want to look over, just real quick skim, but if you made that list, I want to thank you for making this video exist, because Jesus Christ, you virtual bastards, how did, how, why are you so good at basketball, and how Bernard King with your 51 thousand points i'm in awe i felt i feel a little bit too engulfed into this but i i had to be and i also i wanted to shout out calvert cross chris cross for the most three pointers in nba history adrian danley for the most free throws by far and away actually kind of weirdly ralph sampson for beating wilt chamberlain for the most rebound chris cross for beating john stockton twice for the most assists ralph sampson for also beating hakeem olajuwon in blocks i didn't even realize you would like this but wow you're beating your teammate in all of his record michael jordan for steals record over john stockton i didn't even realize that one was gonna happen magic johnson for the most turnovers it's cool we all gotta make mistakes bro you know we over here praising bernard king too and you bernard king for the most points per game in nba history by a, by a full three points per game tj brown for the highest field goal percentage in nba history you already know michael petrus what eric soto who the hell are you i don't know but you had a good three point percentage john stockton i think magic is from like the real magic johnson so i think john stockton one of these is your actual assist per game is kind of crazy chris cross shouts to you for 10 a game doc rivers two scott skyle locks per game i want to shout out to whoever the hell is on here that was from the simulation maybe it was mark eden i don't know steals per game anybody
everybody, Michael Jordan. I want to shout out to Bernard King for 535 40 point game, which in real life, I think the record is wherever the hell Jordan is with 173. So he just like times that by almost five or a little bit less or a lot less or whatever. And then even LeBron beat it, Magic beat it, David Thompson, KD, and Chris Paul. I got to shout out all you dogs. Two of you guys aren't even close to having your careers finished. So I, I mean, well, actually, you kind of are kind of close. But yeah, and I also want to shout out Bernard King for 231 50 point games. Your legacy, you, you really are the like Mike of this simulation because what the hell Michael Jordan had, I don't know, 31 50 point games, but you had 231. That, could, that number couldn't have worked out any more perfectly. I want to shout out Oscar Robertson for still having the triple double record to this day. Nobody has beat this man. You weren't even in the simulation, but hey. I want to shout out Bernard King for the most points in a season. Igor Nevsky for the most three pointers in a season. What? Who the hell? Teams and you have three point lines in the court and you decided to do this. And shout out to Stephen Curry for still being up here too. 518. Bernard King for the most three point and for the most free throws in a season. John Stockton up here multiple times for the most assists. Bernard for dropping 79 in two games right behind Kobe and Will. Then again, in this universe, I guess, yeah, the Kobe one doesn't really exist. So yeah, yeah just Wilt still, we can't defy that one. I guess there was somehow a man in 2021, aka the first season, probably during, probably on one of the, like the teams that didn't really exist yet, that have somehow formulated into great teams in this modern day that had 136 rebounds. So shout out to Curtis Ramsey. You'll go down the record books, even though you're not nowhere in the top rebounds list. Maurice Cheeks for 12 steals in a game in a season. Chris Paul, 15 turnovers. We won't talk about it. We will though. I just did. 78 points from Bernard King, the most in a playoff game still stands to this day since 2025, aka in this simulation that's like 40 years ago. Magic Johnson, most field goals made. Ray Allen, 15 threes, most threes made. Russell Westbrook, most assists in a playoff game with 29. Wow, you didn't even tell me. And he had 28 assists in a regular season game too. Come on, Russell. I see you. Mark Eaton with 12 blocks in a playoff game for the new record. Larry Bird tying Allen Iverson's record for 10 steals. And then even the GOATs make mistakes. You know what I'm saying? 12 turnovers from Maurice Cheeks and Clyde Drexler. Come on now, even though I was more so referring to Clyde, but I, I don't even know. Look, most viable player, dog. I already read off the whole pl uh, points list too, but Bill Walton three times. Bernard Kings five times. Magic Johnson got one in there. Then Bernard won another five straight. Then Magic won another two. Chris Cross won one. David Robinson won two. Kima Lajuan won one. Shaq won two. David got another one. Chris Webber, KG got two. Dirk got one. Chris Webber got another three. LeBron got three. Chris Paul got three. LeBron got two. Russell Westbrook got one. Brandon Roy got two. Stephen Curry got one. Chris Paul got two. And that's all your most valuable players for this entire simulation. Those like 12 or 14 guys I just named, that's all of your most valuable players. Rookie of the years, I'll just scroll through real quick if you want to look. Some of them are probably inaccurate. Like I didn't set their years pro, right? Or the people who made the draft class, whatever. But regardless, there you go. Six man of the year. Shout out to all these people. Even Stephen Curry has six man of the years. And he's Stephen Curry for God's say come on now you get sometimes you gotta be humble dpo wise oh man artist gilmore shout out to you for being really good at defense very early on then bill walton kevin mikhail akeem olajuwon for a lot a lot a lot of years patrick ewing to kevin matumbo shaquille o'neal ming yao ming yao donovan mason what who the hell are you i forget joakim noah mad years roy hibbert a couple years joakim noah again rudy gobert now just like in real life getting two of them most improved player i mean shout out to all the people who improve with their life come on now how are you going to discredit all these people tracy mcgrady what paul pierce what Not rod williams akeem olajuwon even even he had to improve and he's a game alive while Moses Malone brand Ingram Pascal Siakam these aren't even these are from real life I'm over here reading still for no reason I'm, I'm just all over the place coach of the year shout out to all the coach of the years George Gerben was the Cavs coach no wonder they were so good they have that basketball mastermind come on now the finger roll God himself mad coaches that nobody knows Tom Thibodeau of the Timberwolves and they actually fired him and got another head coach that what why would you fire him mad early on Brad Stevens was somehow alive 40 years before he was actually alive and won mad Buffalo Braves I don't even know anymore Birdie past champions quick little skim quick little skim one more time for the last time points leaders oh my god just gonna skim real quick already went through the mvp so there you go bernard king you already know him magic gonna lead all all these rebounds ralph sampson had to kind of break the record so he's look i'm uh, we're we're done we're done dog we're done we're done matter of fact there's got to be one more thing here and that's hall of famers route this simulation last but not least i mean this for a fact one more last but not least is the final thing it doesn't matter what i missed and what I have missed, if I missed anything that I went over, if I did run the series back, run the, yeah, that's right. Run the series back. <laughs> Yo, I don't even deal with arenas power. Matter of fact, we're going to go from uh, bottom to top, bottom to top. All of the hall of famers throughout this entire simulation we started being inducted around 2030, 2029 with Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, which is what actually uh 85 or whatever, 86. Kareem, Artis Gilmore, Charlie Scott, Pete Maravich, Dave Cowens, Nate Archibald, Bill Walton, Julius Irving, George Gervin, Maurice Lucas, Bill Walton, World Be Free, Moses Malone.
Stone, Bob McAdoo, John Drew, Marquise Johnson, David Thompson, Larry Bird, Adrian Danley, Bernard King, Sidney Moncrief, Kevin McHale, Magic Johnson, Jim Paxson, Chris Mullen, Joe Dumars, Reggie Miller, John Stockton, K Chris Cross, Calvert Cross, Ty Drexler, Carl Malone, Hakeem Olajuwon, Michael Johnson, David Ro M Michael Johnson, what did I just say? Michael Jordan, David Robinson, Rod Strickland, Gary Payton, Sean Kemp, Arvita Sabonis, Chris Webber, Shaquille O'Neal, Jason Kidd, Allen Iverson twice, Grant Hill, Kenyon Martin, Ray Allen, Steve Nash, Kevin Garnett, Vince Carter, Ricky Davis, Kobe Bryant, Paul Pierce, Tracy McGrady, Tim Duncan, Hito Turkoglu, Manu Ginobili, Dirk Nowitzki, Yao Ming, Jason Richardson, Pau Gasol, Gilbert Arenas, and that is it. That is every single last person that has been inducted into the Hall of Fame throughout this past 40, however many years of simulating. It is 2.37 a.m. Like I said, that does not matter though, obviously, because this, this is going to go, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? I decided to do this entire roster simulation in a one week in depth like an idiot is easily the most work that i have and will put into this channel considering that i haven't edited this yet thank you for whatever amount of subscribers i think we're at 425,000 right now shout out to all the people that continue to support i can say i haven't switched up the channel much in the past uh year so thankfully people kind of still like the channel you know what i mean i didn't like go hollywood or something i don't think so what the how am i gonna go Holly? i'm still in the same basement i was in when i started this uh started blowing up a year ago and started this channel five years ago actually or six now almost shout out to the dude who just followed me on twitch at 2 38 a.m but nonetheless that is officially gonna do it i said drop a cp for mv you drop whatever the hell you want if you watch this whole series thank you for watching thank you for enjoying thank you for existing i was gonna say everything that would have sounded real wholesome right but i decided to switch up to existing now nah, thank you thank you now i'm gonna get the hell up and out of here